staff members here getting heels. This is just amazing offers. Today we're gonna do huge clearance prices, we're doing trade show offers, we're having a giggle, we're gonna talk 80s, we're gonna reminisce or we're going to teach for Kerry who was born in the 90s. I know it's not your fault, darling, but you did miss out on an era that was like this. I mean, wow, what an era to miss out on. Yeah. <gasps> I love that song so much, Ollie. Wouldn't it be good to be in your shoes? <laughs> Even if it was for just one day. Wouldn't it be? Pardon? Debbie Kershaw, brother. Nick Kershaw. Not actually her, well, I'm saying not actually her brother. I don't know for definite. 0800 644 Now we're starting to think as well, your favorite pop videos of the 80s. It's gotta be, um, I'll take on Oh yeah. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, when he came through the TV, didn't he? At Grange Hill, Agadu by White Lace, trying to eat three cream crackers in a minute. Yes. Going on the dance floor first and getting a bottle of cheap vlog from Hazel in Kent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, trying to eat. What was that? The cream cracker and your mouth was so dry, wasn't it? Um, here we go and this is from um, uh, Eloise? 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 Um, hello lovely, brilliant price on the wire. I've not been able to buy any um, at that price at specialist shops and you just won't. This is so competitive. We've got 34 of them left. 0800 644 655. Ryan, hello. How are you after your ice bucket challenge? <laughs> Yeah, I'm all now. You've warmed up now. A huge congratulations to our uh, Mitch team yesterday who did the ice bucket challenge. I would have done it, but Linda did it instead. Uh, Ali didn't do it though, but she had to present the late show. And it was after um, I had to uh, go yesterday, but amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done. I've got mine uh, to do 6 today. 695. What was that, sorry? I've got mine to do today. You've got yours to do today? Yeah, courtesy of Laura Binding. Courtesy of Laura Binding. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think it's really important though to know as well how you can donate money for it because it's not just the case of chucking some a bucket of water over your head so make sure you are finding out there's various different avenues that you can donate okay so um, just a few of those left but loads of you with it in your basket so you are going to be missing out some of you there now here we go and um, so Gemma what is this this is um, liver of sulfur gel yeah so it's you can buy liver of sulfur and all sorts of um, structures or um, in all sorts of ways so you can buy it in chunks or in a liquid where it's already diluted and um, this probably by far is the most effective or cost effective and user friendly way of using liver sulfur because it's a gel and it's stabilized which means it's not going to go off like um, crystals will um, and it'll last a lot longer and you you can mix as much as you like and you're able to measure it properly not that you really need to measure it properly, but if you are doing, once you get advanced, you can sort of add it, add other things like ammonia to create a different colour. Wow. So, um, now you so yeah, do get good. a full list yeah, of you do. incredibly comprehensive and easy to follow instructions as well. So if you are using liver of sulphur with your raw copper, what are we going to be achieving? What you're gonna do is you're gonna speed up the natural aging process of, um, of copper so or the natural patination of copper so whereas if you just left copper in it on its own in outside it would go green like a verdigris yeah um, if it tarnished indoors mainly like jewelry wood it would go uh, like a black so it blackens and this just speeds it up so you pop a solution of that in warm water drop your metal in and it it will be black in a matter of minutes or now if you don't want it to be completely black but you just want sort of li little black markings on it that's it you can dip you can dip leave it bring it out as soon as you like the color and then, perfect yeah. perfect so it is ridiculously easy to use ridiculously easy and it does come with full lists as well and again will be incredibly competitive on the price of this we're just aiming to knock your socks off with prices left right and center today oh eight hundred six double four six double five and it's six ninety five now how much, I mean, you've got, here we go, 
fluid ounces. We've got you're going to be able to make do loads, aren't you? You've got a whole fluid ounce there. Mm. So how many drops of that do you think you'd need? Um, I suppose it depends how much copy you want to do. It does, but it, it is it's so little. I use sort of if I was to measure it, it would be about two mils, if that. Yeah, less than that, even one mil um, in a in a tub with about 400 millilitres, 500 millilitres wow. of water. But the thing is, it doesn't matter. Even if it's a really weak solution, it just means you leave the piece in there longer. So the stronger it is, the quicker it works. Um, and the same with the temperature. You must never go um, above, you know, must never, you put it in warm water, but you must never go above a temperature where you've got steam, where the water's oh, evaporating, okay. because you don't want to breathe in the fumes from the liver of sulfur. Okay. Um, it's perfectly safe, but breathing it in can make you feel a bit yuck, and it really, and it's quite smelly. So it's quite a good thing to do in the garden, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do it in the shed usually. Yeah. So it is a bit smelly, uh, but the effects that you get are amazing, absolutely amazing. And you, it says on here you can be using it on bronze and brass and metalies, and you can use it on metal clay. Yeah, and silver. So, wow. Yeah, silver is another one. No noble metals, but pretty much everything else it will work on. Amazing. So six ninety five. Maybe you've even got some jewellery at home that you want to have a play around with. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I've done a lot of um, things that I've bought you know, cheap from accessory shops and just change the colours by adding a patina. It's, it's, it's got to be worth a shot, hasn't it? For six ninety five, add that onto your order and you can use your Visa, MasterCard and you can use PayPal as well. You can use PayPal as well. Now we've also got a hugely important part of the show today of which I feel very inappropriately dressed for, <laughs> but we'll just ignore that. And we're going to do the first one now. How many? Oh, we, you're kidding! Um, right, Cassie, um, I'm sorry, could you just, I, I would reach over, but I can't stretch out. I just need the tweezers and the blackboard, please, my lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you, and have I got the James Bond prong around? We don't know where the James prong bond, I saw it in the gallery. I think. It's in the gallery, apparently. I think I saw it in there. The James Bond prong. Okay. Now, here's the reality of this. Um, they're extraordinary. They're absolutely extraordinary. Do you know this is so exclusive, so rare, is this Bolivian pink amethyst and the cut that will have taken days to do on each one, days for a lapidaris to work on each of these gemstones. We've got less than 10, less than 10 of these boxes. Now, I think, I think what's really important before we address this properly is just to remember that here at Jewelry Maker we're used to seeing amethyst at really, really low prices and not very um, typical of industry prices. We're going to stay completely within that vein of this is not typical of industry prices for the quality of what you are going to get. We've only now got six. What you will receive is by far the best quality amethyst I have ever come across. And I have been working in the gemstone industry for a number of years, and some of you know I work with a very, 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 very big designer. They used high quality amethyst, and for me, this would not look out of place in some of the world's most prestigious jewelers. They are gonna be one of the most considered purchases we've ever had at Jewelry Maker, but they are the best quality amethyst you have ever, ever seen on this channel. Fact, there are now only five. It is the most exclusive collection of three gemstones that we've ever, ever brought to you. When you're buying into this, you're buying into an elite level of gemstone, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get these valued. 
Now I know that there is some opinion of the fact that this cut has been drilled as well and I know some people are of the opinion that that shouldn't have been done. We have some available, the beauty of this gemstone connoisseur collection is some are drilled and then we've got some others of the range that aren't drilled. So that's the beauty of it, these are drilled so you've got that option. You don't have to use the drill hole and we've got some more coming up later in the show um, in smoky quartz that haven't got a drill hole. Now they are truly spectacular and the price you will get them for is categorically not indicative of worth or value. These are jewels. They go beyond the gemstone category. They are precious and incredible jewels. Now if I can show you here these are the premium round cuts. This to me has got the faceting and the skill of the faceting that you'd expect from an incredibly high-end diamond. It's that same level of lapidary that's taken place. Now you've got the coulee, the base of the gemstone, you've then got the girdle and the girdle is a good millimetre round so you've got a really good point where you can actually hook on and prong set these should you choose. They're 14 millimetres in diameter, now we've, they are going to be a considered purchase, they are, they are, they are. But they're going, they are going. So I know that once again I was been made aware that some people were um, confused by the fact they've been drilled. We have got some that aren't drilled coming up later in smoky quartz and you don't have to use the drill hole. They're showing up very clearly on screen today. So, But it gives you, as jewelry makers, the option and some people are desperate for that drill hole to be present. And what's wonderful is for us as jewelry maker, we prim as jewelry makers, we primarily use gemstones with a drill hole. Whenever do you get the chance to use this caliber of gemstone with a drill hole there? I've never seen this quality available to thread on before. It gives you the chance to use your beading threads with it, to use wire alongside it. Now, Gemachrome, it is no secret that you are an amazing jewellery designer. <laughs> How would Gemachrome go about using these? I mean, they are... What's, what's your, do you know what? I'm not going to put words on your mouth. What's your opinion on these? I think the colour is exceptional. It's just the most beautiful colour. I mean, I can see the colour from here and they're... With that clarity, you don't really expect the colour to be quite so vivid. But the purple's amazing in there. Just gorgeous. Yeah, I think they're exquisite. What would I do with them? I think with the drill hole in there, I think that gives me a lot more options. So I could either prong set it for a ring and have a really beautiful ring or pendant. Um, or I could, if I'm not so confident with my wire work, I could simply thread it, do the most simple of rings, thread a wire through the drill hole and then do a nest wrap around it and I've got what looks like a bezel set gemstone without much, much wire work skills, many wire work skills needed. Mm. Or even in macrame, a really high end mm. macrame um, ring with sterling silver wire. I think we should be very aware of the price that high end amethyst can command. Good luck. We've got a lot of people wanting them. I don't know who they're going to go to. T O O N 9 for all three. It's working out basically at £50 per piece, which is phenomenal for that clarity, that colour. But it's all about the cut that's taken painstaking days to achieve this calibre. And the great thing is, as well, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee, haven't you? So why don't you get another opinion on these? Hold them, experience them. They are completely of the most elite nature. Now we've got four left to confirm, but we've got a lot of people on the phone lines and we've got a lot of people with it in their baskets. So they are gonna sell out. I just can't say who to who at this precise moment. Um, they are unbelievably beautiful. And I'm thrilled that we've, I mean, look, we've only got three sets left. 
I don't know who's going to get them. 25 carats over those stunning three stones. And they are breathtaking. They're truly, truly breathtaking. Now we have got, obviously, I appreciate that's a considered purchase. It is compared to our other prices. So we're going to do loads of under £10 items today. And I'm actually going to do a brand new tool for you in a moment. Should we do it now? Can I go over to Gemma for it? Is that okay? It's okay with me. So, this is a brand new tool that I've never seen before, but it comes with instructions. This is the opportunity for me to show to you. <laughs> Can I show you mine? Yeah, come on. <laughs> We're rocking the 80s. Boom. <laughs> Belinda Carlisle, eat your heart out. I tried to turn my collar up, but it wouldn't stay. Do you want some hairspray on it? No. <laughs> no. Say, say, say. It's this sort of, um, what were we talking about? Dance moves of the 80s. Running Man? That's 90s. Was it? Yeah. Do you think? Yes. Absolutely. It was 90s. It was more sort of handbag. Yeah. Sort of clicking, isn't it? Yeah. And um, what was I doing before? I got it down to a T. What was the move, Ollie? Oh, and the... Uh, uh, oh, God. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, who is thanks it? for your text. We're going to look at them all in a minute. Madness. Madness. Yeah, it's the Come madness give us a bit of a madness dance. You have to... I can't because I have to walk. Yeah. Amazing. Bit of status quo, yeah, come on. Right, this is a brand new tool, and to be honest, Gemma had never even used it until the start of the show. I don't know what we're looking at here. What are we looking at? We're looking at a, a knotting tool, um, but one that makes knots, like the gorgeous little Chinese knots that you often use as buttons. You're and... kidding! No. This is it, this is it. Right, hang on a second, because we're going to give you some extra freebies with this as well. Let me bring it over. Um, okay. So, okay, so have you got an image of something you've just made? Just made this one. Oh, wow! No. Oh, how nice is this? I think I need to have a play with it a bit more just to, you know, sort of work out how I, where I line it up. But that's the my... first time you've ever used it and yeah. you've done that. Yeah. And now it comes with, um, we gave it to you like two seconds before yeah. the show started. It comes so it comes with really clear instructions as well, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, and a practice cord. And practice cord. Yeah. So cord that you can literally undo and yeah, redo. Yeah. So you can keep practicing with it before you want to use your actual cords. So this is the little tool here. Like a little flower. Oh, it's like a little. Oh, now this cord's got all the numbers around it. So you're flying in for this one, and I hadn't got a clue what it was before. Um, so it's fab. So this is how it comes to you. It comes with a um, a practice thread. Okay, so you've got your instructions there. Do you know what? They're all going to sell out. This is, isn't it fab? What a genius little tool. And you're going to be getting three lots of satin, uh, sorry, no, you're, um, you've got suede deck cord in the pink uh, sparkle, the fuchsia pink satin cord, and then the peach satin cord, and then you've got the blue hues as well, the blue nylon cord, the blue sparkle suede and the uh, sky blue cord. So your blues and your pinks and this tool, we're going to do it for less than fourteen ninety five for all lot, the whole lot. That's really good. Mm. Less than fourteen ninety five. QAGC seven sixty, and we are going less than fourteen ninety five, aren't we? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I had that moment there, I've just said it on live TV, was I actually lying? Uh, 9.95, amazing! Hello Zena, how are you my lovely? Frank in for this one, and Christine and Christina, and Gaynor and Trina, and Sandra and Elizabeth, and Mary, and loads, this is going to be a massive sellout. What a fabulous, fabulous little tool. So if you've just tuned in, this is the tool that allows you to make these amazing knots. So are you going to be able to quickly... Yeah, I can show I, you if you want. Really? Yeah. Yep. Okay, it okay we're really going to have a quick easy. demo, but you do get a full instruction manual. You do. Um, can you use wire with it, do you think, someone's texted in? I'm, I'm going to have a go with that, yeah. Ooh. I think it would be nice. Cool, yeah. great, okay. Right, so yeah, Definitely follow your instructions out. and do read them because it's, you look at the pictures <laughs> and I sat... I do read them, don't do what my dad does and goes, oh, there's some instructions. Yeah. 
that's what I do usually and I think oh, I'll, I'll work it out but actually I thought I couldn't do it and then suddenly I thought well, I'll just have a go at reading them and then I did it straight away. It's probably um, using the leather et cord is probably the hardest material to use with it to be honest. So oh, okay. practice with the satin cords would be perfect um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this because this is what I found under the desk. <laughs> um, so firstly you need to thread your cords through the hole that says number one so you thread them from the this is going to be the tail end so you thread them from the front through hole number one and just leave your tail there and then you basically you've gone through number one and then you basically follow the numbers around the flower so and um, you take two cords and keep them sitting nice and parallel um, number two over section two and then between number three so bring it up around number three then find number four and go around there and then this is much easier round round cord number four then um, then number five it, you can see how easy it is then number six around the back up to number seven Okay, so now your cords are here. And then you'll see the little markings on the flower are slightly different here. You've got like an indented um, number eight. And that means you go under the cords this time. So on your way to number nine, you come under number eight. But it is mm. very clear on the flower. So you can see it. So you and again, you will get your instructions anyway. It has sold out, I'm afraid, folks. Take your two cords under there at point eight. Pull them through. Oh, then. sorry, no, there's three left and then take them through gap number nine then you turn it over and you can see the little indented one again for number ten so that means you go under and the disc is squidgy so if you can't get them under just squidge the disc it gives you a gap under number ten and then through the gap again and we come out and then with the last move is number 12 and again you can see it's indented so you know you come underneath squidge the desk pop them under sorry I'm having trouble getting hold of the ends from the back poking through there right so that's that's the knot pretty much finished so now we just have to remove it from from the disc so you just carefully if you just squidge the disc together you can then carefully remove the strands and and you know it, the more careful you are the less sort of jiggling you'll need to do once it's off the once it's off the disc so just remove it that tail through. Right, there we go. And then you pull the tail, just pull the disc off. And there's there it is, believe it or not, that will become your knot. So what you need to do is just carefully start tightening them in and you just take one at a time. I don't know if you've ever seen um, Teresa doing the knots on the show and she she'll show you how to just work them through so that eventually it tightens up so you just take one at a time follow it through and tighten it so I pull this one and then I find when I got to a certain stage it was really useful to use the reamer so I get to here it is a case of just tightening it until it all comes together okay When you're doing this at home, you take your time, keep the threads lined up, and then it does make life easier. <laughs> right, I think I'm nearly there. I should have showed you a silk thread, really. Because this got more friction on, so. But it's you literally more difficult. are just going to keep teasing. I'm going to keep, yeah keep pulling sections until it all falls into shape and you get a ball formed um, but what I was saying with the reamer you can when you get to a certain point you can pop your reamer sort of in the loops and pull them and it pulls oh them right, nice and okay. easily 
towards the end when you're doing your final few pulls through it makes it easier to to get it into shape Can you see I'm just following you see that one comes through there so you just have to follow follow the loops through Not being very methodical, really, am I? I'm losing but my literally, mind. no. This is you can see it working. Though, you can absolutely you? see it. So don't worry, Gemma. I think we can all you see can there. See. It's literally a case of you just keep teasing it. And the reason it's looking a little, it's the friction because we are using the leatherette, leatherette. cord here. So you're going to get a practice cord. You're going to get all your satin cords, and when with that, you've got haven't got the friction, so it'll just go. Yeah, it would just. And let us know through. anyway. Let us know your feedback on it all. You'll love it. You'll absolutely love it. You so, will. Gemma, thank you for that. We literally just I'll continue, continue that, with it. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll enjoy though having a practice with wire with it. Yeah. Now we are going to go to a kit that will be, without a shadow of a doubt, a sellout because we are both completely blown away by the price of this. Exactly. You've got in this kit one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, two, five sterling silver chains. Yeah. Six nine two five sterling silver chains this am I, this is right isn't it you know when you palpitate and you question yourself <laughs> yeah i know i'm 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 worried about this now is that right or is it maybe it's not hang on yeah yeah okay yeah <laughs> so let's have a look at these they're 925 sterling silver these chains you're going to get 50 centimeters of each and there's one two three four five six of them rose gold uh, on 925 sterling silver silver nine carat yellow gold on silver silver nine carat yellow gold on silver and nine carat rose gold on silver so they're all stunning chains. Now you're also going to be getting a 925 sterling silver, nine carat yellow gold plated findings pack. This is going to be the most ridiculously amazing value for money kit I think we've ever done. You're then going to get three stunning strands of gemstones of where you've got, oh, these are absolutely beautiful. Pyrites garnet and then I'm just going to confirm on this one for you because they are dinky beautiful it is like spinel <gasps> this is a, such a high end kit so spinel pyrite and garnet six nine two five sterling silver half meter chains A full findings pack in 925 sterling silver with 9 carat yellow gold plate, 50 metres of beading thread, 6 metres of clear elastic, 80 metres of monofilament, and it's 29.95. It's absolutely bonkers. This is 925 sterling silver, spinel, garnet and pyrite. Your strands, uh, your length of your strands are uh, 31 centimetres on the pyrite. That's gunmetal grey coated uh, pyrite. Then you've got 40 carats of garnet, it's a 36 centimetre strand. And then you've also got a 38 centimetre strand of the, um, of the spinel. And the spinel are measuring, just bear with me a second. Yeah, they're two millimetres, it's a 38 centimetre strand. Look at this jewellery, it is beautiful. Now look, we've only got 10 left. Gemma, this is an extraordinarily elegant kit. The jewellery you've created is really Wow, it's really, really, really wow. So if we start off with these, I mean, look at this. You've gone for the three-tone metal, yeah. that, which is so on trend at the moment. So bringing in the rose gold, the yellow gold, and the silver. Mm -hmm. And then that pendant, that is just, that is amazing. Well, it, it's, it's got a little bit scrunched up, I'm afraid, in the bag, but it, you know, it will form, because you how you thread it, it forms in perfect teardrops, but I'm afraid I got it a little bit messed up. But yeah, just and then I use the chain in the in with the threading to sort of separate it and and hold it all together. Okay. So it's the chain Stunning. holding it in place. Stunning. And then this necklace is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, the kit sold out. I'm so sorry. So we're going to have the quickest demo um, because we still want to fit a demo in. 
I still definitely definitely want us to be able to see a demo. The the earrings are amazing. The bracelet is is stunning. So um, just to remind you as well, whilst we're demoing this, we have got a phenomenal offer, which is 118 findings, silver colour uh, coated copper, and you're going to get 118 findings approximately, and a bead scoop for just 8 95 So bear that one in mind, and we're going to, which technique are you going to show to us? I'm going to show you the earrings with the three drops of chain on because they're, they're so beautiful because I've used monofilament quite a lot in this kit because the gemstones are so fine I wanted to keep that that fine feel to the to the jewelry so um, I know some people worry about attaching monofilament onto their earring findings or gem rings etc so I thought I'd show that so what I've done and bear with me because these are tiny tiny beads um, but hopefully I'll help you speed the process of threading them up a little bit as well um, on here I've threaded I've tied a knot just for now so it doesn't fall off. I've threaded um, five of the tiny spinel, two garnets, and then I've chopped uh, my chain down into three separate lengths. And um, the, the two either side are the same size and the one in the middle is just slightly longer, just to give me a bit of graduation. So I'm gonna f now, after the two garnets, I'm gonna thread on one of my shorter chains. Thread it down. And then a pyrite. And then the longer chain, and then a pyrite, and then the shorter chain again. So just oh, thread it through. Okay. And then another pyrite to finish. And then you, re you reverse what you've done already. So then two garnets. and then five spin out and I'll show you how I do the spin out um, given that they're so tiny I did find that this speeded it up slightly so I keep them on the strand and unfortunately the drill hole is too small to thread your monofilament through the with the strand which is what I usually do oh at so the same time at the same okay. time yeah usually I will they're thread beads, they are they? gorgeous so what I do I, I find I could do probably four successfully at a time so I hold them between my thumb and my forefinger, all four, in a line, pull the thread out, and then literally, and hold them still, and then thread my monofilament straight through, and if you're lucky, it will go through all four, if they've stayed lined up. Oh no, two did. <laughs> but I find that that is probably the most successful and quickest way of getting those beads threaded quickly. Oh, they're so sparkly, it's really hard to see because the light bounces off them, it's hard to see in here. Right, there you go. So I've got my all my beads threaded on. So now what you do is you take your monofilament through. Um, what, what's the easiest thing to do here is to tie it in a knot right at the top of where those gems meet. So just tie an overhand knot with both threads. I find that gives me gives my crimp a little bit more purchase when I crimp onto it. So tie a knot, work that knot down so that it meets the gemstones. Keeps them all in tight. And then onto the knot, thread on your crimp bead. It makes it a little bit shorter. So crimp bead over both of the gem, both of the things, both of the wires, and I've got a little bead caught in my knot. Never mind. You get the point. You want it. We want to put the crimp onto the knot itself. Okay. Then through your earring finding, take both ends of that monofilament through your earring finding, and these are gorgeous. These earring findings. I think they're the nicest I've ever worked with. Then the two ends of your monofilament go back then through that crimp bead. And pull it down so that it's tight. And then squidge it shut with your snipe nose pliers. 
The knot underneath just gives you something for it to grab onto more firmly. Okay, and that's it. And then you trim it off. If you've got a crimp cover, you can pop that on there, or you can use your crimping pliers to um, round that crimp bead into what looks like a bead rather than a... They are so elegant. They're stunning. Okay. Mm. You see my little bead got stuck in a knot there, but that's, that's how you keep it nice and secure. Gemma, thank okay. you so much. They're just beautiful. Yeah, we have now sold out of that kit, but we have got some of the bead scoop in the finest pack available. And I think Gemma and I look particularly... Um, Grange Hill. Not girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Do you know what? We've got a bundle called that, call that coming up. Um, we're going to be reading out loads more of your texts in just a minute, though. We're going to go to the Wall of Fame. All right. We look like the ugly sisters. We do. <laughs> we look like we're at a panto. We need Cinderella. We hideous. <laughs> Absolutely hideous. Uh, however, this is amazing. Look at that design. Oh, oh I love this. Um, this is from Susan Davis. Hello, lovely. Hi, everyone. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's made uh, from fuchsia pink polymer clay. I watched Debbie Bulford make handbags and I thought I'd have a go. I use pink jade to help make the necklace. Love to you all, especially Debbie, and looking forward to seeing back, uh, her back on JM. And that's from Sue Davis. They are. Oh, I love that. Love that. Damn. Someone yeah. said that we look like salt and pepper. <sighs> I was listening to salt and pepper in the car. Were well. you? I was listening to Queen, Radio Gaga. <laughs> Do you know, a funny story, I got caught dancing on the motorway the other day. <laughs> what do you mean you got caught? <laughs> well, eight hours dancing I was Dancing in the car? In the car. You were like out on the motorway no, no, giving no. it a bit. Of... I was in the car really giving it some welly, because I do in the car. And um, I see some people going past laughing and in the back they're filming. Oh, hun. And it was, we were only going 20 miles an hour, so. Yeah. Embrace it, embrace it, embrace your inner. Yeah, it's it was gonna fine. Give you At first I was mortified and then I thought I'll give him something for the camera and put my thumbs up. Amazing. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. It was very funny. <laughs> right, I have the most gorgeous design here. Number that is 473. Mm. It's beautiful. Um, hi all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a multi-strand necklace with amethyst chips, amethyst rounds, mystic coated quartz and rose gold plated amethyst chain with sterling silver connectors, all from JN. Thanks to all the wonderful designers for their wonderful demos and inspiration. And also thanks to the presenters and crew for great entertainment. You are all fab. Good luck to everyone on the WAF, but especially me, because um, I need a win from Carol. Carol, good luck, lovely. <laughs> Your design's stunning, really stunning. Now, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very nice. Oh, Gemma Crow, 476, this is lovely. And this is from Shirley Harris in Pembrokeshire. Hi all at JM, Ollie's going to, for his holidays in Pembrokeshire week after next. Yeah. Hi all at JM, I'm so glad I bought these Onyx cabochons. Um, I'm now hooked on wire weaving. Hope for a win to buy more wire and good luck to everyone from Shirley in Pembrokeshire. Shirley, they're gorgeous. I love your colour choices there. Stunning, 476, good luck. Oh. I've got 474 and it's from Joanne Wright and she says, um, I couldn't decide what to send this week but finally settled on this. Rose quartz leaves and adventuring flowers was going um, to crawl up along the neckline but I couldn't get it to sit just right. Um, the pick's not the best but I've had this in my head for months now um, since I got the stones and only finished this today. Thank you guest designers for your inspiration, presenters for your madness, producers for your great prices and the crew the film crew, it says here, for supporting the madness and showing the amazing gemstones to their best advantage, considering the lighting. Lots of love from me, she says. Joanna, how Joanna. are you, darling? One of our regulars there. That's it's gorgeous. Lovely. Really gorge. And thank you for your thanks. Mm. And then the final one. Wow. Oh, wow. 477. This is stunning from Jenny in Moseley. Wall of Fame, you have to be in it to win it, she said, so here goes. This week's entry is about playing about, uh, with wire and making a bib style necklace. I fashioned a creature, a butterfly, a bee, I don't know. I used Labradorite, tiny bees, pearls, rose quartz and Botswana agate and I had a lovely time making it and surprisingly comfortable to wear. I think I'm going to keep it for myself. Everything is from JM, where else would I go? I love you all for the differences you've made to my makings and that's love from Jenny in Moseley. Jenny! 
Wow, hun. Really wow. 477. I don't feel appropriately dressed to be presenting your piece. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Right then. It's all about the 80s today. When we come back, we're going to have loads of text messages. So take advantage of this time that you can send your text into 60777. We want to know your memories of the 80s, favourite 80s food, favourite songs, favourite films, favourite item of clothing, favourite memories, TV programmes. It's all coming up. But also, I've got the most amazing strand that will sell out. It definitely will sell out because they are cream shell carved doves. They are amazing. Oh my goodness. Doves of peace. Stunning, stunning connotation with that. I'm going to knit next door and show Ruth my outfit. See you in a mo. Tune into The Late Show on Sunday the 24th of August for our Myths and Legends show. Join presenter Ali and guest designer Mark as they focus on the history of gemstones and tell some of the legendary stories that surround some of the world's most precious gems. Join guest designer Karen Crawford for our Talk Necklaces DVD. Karen will guide you through a number of techniques including how to design freeform pieces, how to make structured necklaces, adding gemstones and the Aztec weave. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call center. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. a question that you need answering well did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewelry professional in our call center trained by the GIA you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help we don't just sell gemstones we know gemstones that's why when you buy from us you're buying with confidence buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewelry professionals Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you will receive 20% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. These are so amazing. Remember, the whole element, the whole essence of Dove is that it's a sign of peace. And I think this could have so many connotations for gifts that you could be giving, pieces that you're making for people for specific occasions. You know, you release Doves at a wedding and then there's obviously the Doves are a sign of peace if people are having a really difficult time. And, um, you know, there's no mistake in the fact that symbols of Doves on sympathy cards, etc. So you can... It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful element. Now, this strand is phenomenal because the amount we've packed on it as well. You're gonna love it, you're gonna, do you know what? You are loving it, it's gonna sell out. They are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let me show them to you. They're amazing. 
Now look at that. Look, see how many are packed on because they've been able to be interlinked like that. I don't for one minute think you'll be using them like that. So actually, I think you can easily get two necklaces out there. Look, they're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. They're going to sell out. They're fabulous, aren't they? Gemma, what would you do with something like this, do you think? Because bird be... cages are very in as well, aren't they? Yeah. If, yeah, in fact, I had a bird cage in a magazine last on the last Did month. you? Yeah, and it would have been lovely to put one of those inside. So if anybody's following that tutorial, that's ideal. So a bird cage in a magazine, so in terms of, what, was it a pendant? Or? Yeah, a bird cage pendant is in the make and sell. So In the make and sell magazine, yeah. jewelry making magazine, mm -hmm. make and sell, Gemma has a bird cage design there and one mm. of these in it would have been... It would be perfect, yeah, because they would sit, it would sit nice and light as well because it's shell. I'd hang them on the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Just, just lots of them dotted around look beautiful. Stunning. You are having a laugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sick. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was totally my 80s self. Uh, right, I think we should have some text in, Dee, don't you? Come on then, let's get 80s. It's, um, and let's get physical, physical. I got married in 81 and had two sons in 83 and then in 84. Definitely. Oh, I'm going to stop that. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, in, so you got married in 81, had two sons in 83 and 84, Definitely my decade. Janice, it was your decade completely. We're going to call it the Janice Show. Uh, favourite song has to be Paradise. By the Dashboard Light. What was Paradise by the Dashboard Light? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. How did that one go? I'm not, I don't sing. I don't sing. Music. Just say the words and we might be able to get it. No, because I, I can't even say those in time. I'm sorry. You could just say the words, Gemma. Just like... But I don't even them. know it. I, I have to sing it so that I know it and then I can't do it. I'm sorry. I... I just can't see. Right, okay. That was amazing. Um, <laughs> they are, have almost sold out. Thanks for that, Gemma. Um, That's all right. And then the next one in, this is from Peter. Hi, Lucy, great show. Pop video from the 80s. Hello, Lionel Richie. Does your little one still have Lionel? Um, and that's Pete, um, who named Lionel. Yeah, Pete, he absolutely does. Lionel sits on the sofa in our kitchen uh, and he kisses Lionel. And uh, I might even have a, do you know what? Cassie, would you mind just grabbing my phone for me, please? Because I've got a picture of Charlie the other day it's, uh, with Lionel in the background because he was sat in a cardboard box playing cars. Um, yes, hello, it's a beagle looking for... Now, did he also have a jumpsuit on or was it just the lady in the video had a jumpsuit on, like a pale grey silk jumpsuit, wasn't it? Thanks, Tom. I'll show you Lionel's here. Thank you, darling. Uh, other phones are available. This just happens to be my one. Um, <laughs> La 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 la, I'm going to show you a picture of Lionel Pete because you are a legend. Oh, my phone's done something really, I don't know what's, what it's done. What, why is it, no, no, what, oh no. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh here, hang on, got it. I'll find it later, I will show you Charlie Pants with Lionel. I am, it's here, it's here, look. Here's Charlie, sat in a cardboard box at home. This is my little boy, everybody. Uh, we made, oh no, that's not it. Oh, this is cracking TV, isn't it? Amazing. There we go. There he is. That's Charlie, sat in a cardboard box. And look, there's Lionel. There's Lionel the bear. Yay, I have got no battery. Yes, I know, thank you for that. Right, shall we move on? The locomotion. The locomotion everybody's doing the brand new dance now come on baby do the oh hang on no right hang on i think i was doing the macarena everybody's doing the brand new dance now no that's the macarena what was the ma how do you do the locomotion i think it's, i think that's it pardon i think that's it da, 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 da. Hang on. Everybody's doing the brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. No, you get to like it. Got it? Got it? Come on. Come on. Cassie, come and do the locomotion with me. Kerry, come on. Ready? I'm pretty sure it goes. Or is it the Macarena? Ready? Everybody's doing the brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. No, you get to like it if you give it a chance now. What was it? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, check out. Right, you lot, in here now. Come on, quick, run in, go. Come on. I know that's the locomotion. 
But well, how do you fit it in? Oh, we've got it. Here we go. This is how you can do the locomotion. It's going to come up on your screen now. Oh, we're not allowed to show it. I'm, I'm going to see it. Okay, so it was filmed in China in a dance studio. <laughs> And at the moment, they're not doing a great deal. They're doing, they're doing knee bops. OK, and then, are we going to see? That's an exercise DVD, and they're doing the tango, darling. It's a line dance to the And they're the doing a line dance. Yeah. Am I doing the Macarena, then? Yeah. I don't think you do that bit. I think that's Macarena, isn't it? Do the locomotion. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really a Kylie fan. Come on! I tell you what, aerobics was big in the 80s. Going to aerobics and water aerobics. Busy Lizzie. Mr. Motivator and a bit of Lizzie Webb in the morning on TV AM. Oh, I tell you, we're living the dream. We're living the dream. You're getting loads in your locomotion. Right then, let's get cracking. Oh, I'm loving it! Are you loving the 80s show? Are you loving the 80s show, everybody, in the Sunday experience this morning? Are you loving the 80s show? They're loving it. They're going to be um, locomoting before we know it. Can you, um, can you learn the locomotion, please? And then when we come to see you at the end of the show, you can do the locomotion live on TV. That's, that's the most pitiful locomotion. <laughs> right, we're about to do one of the biggest, massive bundles ever known here at Joy Maker. Oh my word. Dion, could you think you could have fitted anything else in, Tom? Look at this. Look. Oh my word. And how much are you doing it for? You have to get this, honestly. Stop everything you're doing. If you make jewellery, you will want this in your life. If you make jewellery, you will want this in your life. Fact. Fact. Because the thing is, You might even want a few of these. You want a few of these. Okay, so, first off, let's, I, I don't even know, where do, where do we start? Right, the leather scissors. Leather scissors because we've got leather featured later on in the show as well, but you can use these for other mediums, but these are the official proper leather scissors that if you're working with leather pieces, this is what you're wanting to be using, isn't it? It just gives you the finish that you want. Yeah. What other materials could you use it on though? Um, anything you can use it on your friendly plastic. I know Liz swears by it for a friendly plastic. Really? Yeah. Um, fabrics. Uh, they're they're just really really good. Could you shoes. use it on when you've done your felt as well? Yes. Yeah. Perfect for that. Because what this is going to do is give you the most cream, cl crisp, clear line. This is going already. We've already got loads of you putting it in your baskets. Make sure you're checking it out. So you've got the, the scissors. You've then got this. Gemma, what do we need this for? Is that a file? Yeah, it's, yeah it is. Um, great for filing your raw copper sheet, especially, um, and speeding up the process. But you can also use it for your perspex or um, your silver clay or anything. Because on here, I don't know if it's shown up, but it is actually uh, diamond dusted. Mm. So this gives you, it's an amazing file, okay? Has been known to help me before a show when I've forgotten my nail pile as well. <laughs> um, so you're also going to get. The um, side cutters, now these are amazing with wire work, aren't they? Because you can get right in there. Yeah, they're, and they're my favourite um, tools, range of tools, those ones with the blue handles. Really? Yeah. Gemma Crow's favourite. Gemma Crow's favourite. Uh, then, tweezers, always ridiculously useful, um, especially if you're going to be working with sil uh, single loose gemstones. And if you gemstone setting, thank you very much, Ollie, you can pick things up with these. He's useful, isn't he? Uh, right. I don't even know. I don't know where to go next. Three strands of genuine gemstones. This is mega value for money. Mega, 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 mega. Look at these. They're gorgeous. You've got purple quartzite. Um, you are going to be getting purple quartzite eight millimeters. And then bear with me a second. We've got white quartz plain rounds, which are 10 millimetres, and that's the 36 centimetre strand. And then the Amazonite, aren't they stunning there? Eight millimetres. Now, the Amazonite, look, they're top drilled. So you get a very slight drop on those rather than being centre drilled. Everybody's doing the brand new dance now. Not brand new anymore, is it? 
back in the 80s. Right, your twisted wire. This is 10 meters of 0.6. So basically, you're getting the equivalent of 20 meters of wire or 10 meters of 1.2. Gemma, the twisted mm -hmm. wire, you are, of course, one of our wire work experts. Your opinion on our twisted wire, please? It's it's lovely to have it uniformly twisted for you in such long lengths because even though we've got various tools for twisting, you can't twist that long a length at a time, which limits your design options. So. And that is a continual run of 10 mm. metres. It's fabulous. Then you've also got your um, now mesh, 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 mesh. <gasps> I've absolutely fallen in love with mesh because after Gemma created that amazing fascinator for my mum, thank you so much. I haven't seen you since then. I've got no. a little thank you for my mum that I have forgot to bring in for you. Oh, that's kind. Oh, um, I then decided to have a little play and I'm completely um, obsessed with it. It's amazing. It's just lovely, isn't it? Once you start using it, addictive. Just bite the bullet and use it. And then yeah, you, it's addictive. You well, stop. it's coming free in there, so you just go for it. And this is the colour that's classified. Now, it's classified as the dark green. We've talked about this before, haven't we, Gemma? And mm. we don't think it is particularly. But it's like a deep petrol -y, it is very petrol peacocky, bluey green. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Uh, so you're going to get that. You're going to get loads more. Make sure you're checking out your baskets because this will be a sellout. You're then going to be getting your Eslon cord as well. And Eslon is brilliant for threading onto and it's also fantastic for doing all your soutache with. That is brilliant. You can also thread all of your pearls onto that and then do pearl knotting as well so you get a lovely articulated necklace. This will be a sellout, which is why I'm talking so quickly because I want to get it all in before it sells out. You're then getting, these do make me giggle, these fabulous magnetic glasses. Ah! Oh! <laughs> strong look ready they're so strong okay you're also getting 50 head pins in the um, copper color a slider clasp in the gold color a two prong you're also going to be getting satin cord 10 meat this is just look the value for money here is extraordinary and I dare I say this would be a great Christmas present if you're thinking, oh yeah, my daughter or my mum or my husband or um, my granddaughter or a friend is going to be getting into jewellery making. Whether you are a brand new beginner or fully established, this is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Um, you're also going to be getting 10 metres of the wax cord. So your satin cord you get in the green. You're going to get the blue on one of these bobbins as well. This is a massive clearance bundle, folks. Clearance price on this. And then three lots of the memory wire in the gold colour, the silver colour and the rose gold colour. And in each pack of these, and you do get the Organza gift bags, so you're going to get three Organza gift bags as well. For each of the memory wire collections, you get 10 of the necklace uh, coils. 14 of the bracelet coils and 14 of the ring coils. Right, we've got loads of you chomping at the bit. Massive, massive clearance. So at our lowest, current lowest prices, the lowest this would have been is 63 pounds and 50 pence. But we've bundled this together. We've got 58 of them left and we're gonna do a clearance price. It's on a first come, first serve basis for 34 pounds. Amazing. For the scissors, the file, the, tw the pliers, the tweezers, three lots of genuine gemstones. Twisted wire, mesh, S long cord, magnetic clasps, um, head pins, slider clasps, satin in green, satin in blue, nylon in, wax coated in yellow, wax coated in the orange, silver memory co uh, silver colour memory uh, coil pack, yellow gold uh, memory wire pack, yellow gold colour, and rose gold colour memory pack. And this is just it's going to be a sellout. It is phenomenal. Hiya, Ted. How are you doing in Oxfordshire? My lovely Lorna and Michelle are there. Linda and Hazel and Eileen and Pat and Trish and Melinda. Lots of our regulars there. And if you are brand new to us, what a way to start. This is a clearance bundle. Give it for £34. If you were to walk in a craft shop and see that, you'd just walk by it, wouldn't you? You would. I was thinking you probably pay in a craft shop around £20 for those scissors, to be honest. Really? Yeah. A decent pair of shears multi-purpose shears like that. I think you'd be looking to pay that sort of price. So even though they're classified as leather, they are multi-purpose because yeah. you can cut your friendly plastics, you can do your felt, you can do all your sari silks, all the threading materials that yeah. we have. They're so, so sharp and they give you such an incredibly clean 
crisp edge that's the professional look because they're so incredibly sharp those shears and um, you've got the file you do everything there and if you have already been making jewelry for a number of years oh my goodness you will probably more than anybody see the value in this won't you because you know your prices don't you we know you know your prices clearance isn't it look and motion can we have some more text please d thanks doll let's have a look what are you saying about the 80s get back to the 80s the 80s Oh, it's not come up. No, it's not come up. Here we go. Hi all, Olivia Newton John. Let's get physical, physical. A uh, song to sing and dance to from Leanne in Devon. Absolutely, Leanne, but Xanadu. Was Xanadu 70s though? I don't know. Xanadu. Hi Lucy, my youngest daughter was born in 81 and my five year, um, my five year daughter was a Madonna fan and wouldn't go anywhere without her lace gloves. Good times. Linda, oh yes. What was the, um, oh, the Madonna album, it had lace on the front of it, pink and uh, add, it on a, add it on tape. Add it from about my sixth birthday on tape. Uh, morning all, Toya Wilcox was my fave and my denim jacket, which was embroidered with her name. It's a mystery. Alan in London. Alan, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Amazing, amazing. Jane Fonda workouts. I always thought doing the head rolls to Jackson's. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? It was such a waste of a bop. Totally. Yeah, I'm with you. Jane Fonda, but then also um, Rosemary Connolly. It was a bit more 90s, mm. wasn't it? Hello, Lucy, Gemma, and all the crew. 80s wine bars, Duran Duran, discos, Wimpy Burgers, Fab Times from Jenny in Christchurch. Oh, Jenny! Uh, hands up, who tried to copy Adam Ant's stripe across the nose? Right, I've got to tell you, I tried to do it on Ollie this morning with my black eyeliner and he wouldn't let me. Loved Prince Charming, Prince Charming video. Who danced to Oops, Up, Sad, You Hit? Say, Oops, Up, Sad, You Hit? Come on! Yeah, a wedding must have, wasn't it? And then, um, Try a little wig wham wig wham bam gonna make you my man wham bam bam gonna get you back and the girls are like Kerry really feels like she's missed out I think <laughs> try a little touch try a little too much just try a little wig wham bit sexy then wasn't it oh I tell you eight are we thinking memories eight ladies are we in the zone memories Wake one down, gonna make you my man. <laughs> I'm so in the 80s. I am gutted. Do you know what? I miss my mum's <coughs> poodle perm and a jumpsuit. I phoned her last night and said, Mum, have you got any shoulder pads? So that's why I had to wear bed socks because she's throwing her shoulder pads out. But also, braces. Women wearing braces over white vest t shirts. Little berets. I still love that look. Little, yeah. 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 I love berets. Oh, stuff. I think the ladies are having a bop in there. What 80s song are you singing, ladies? I can't. <laughs> Hannah, you're going to have to run in and tell me. What, what, what are you singing? Wigwam Bam. Wigwam Bam. And a bit of Banana Armour. <gasps> love it. Day, day, day. Oh, that's Mel and Kim. I know, but why am I forgetting any Banana Rama songs? Banana Rama songs. Someone text in Banana <coughs> Rama songs. Oh, we're having a reminisce, aren't we? Oh, we are. You see, Arctic Roll as well. We we're talking about that yesterday. Favorite '80s food. So. This morning, I tried to go and get some party rings while in my local supermarket that's only open this time on a Sunday. It's a very dinky little one. Um, I was only able to find blue ribbon biscuits, except they're not called blue ribbon. They're blue ribband. I thought, Ollie and I always thought they were blue ribbon. But Ritter Sports as well, do you remember Ritter Chocolate? I'm looking over there because all my ladies are in there on the Sunday experience. Ritter chocolate in the big square slabs. I think you can still get it. Man, munchies. Was that 90s or was that 80s? Munchies chocolate. <sighs> I don't know. 
Marathons, Snickers, Opal Fruits and Jump Rings. Right, let's go to where am I finding my Jump Rings? Bear with, bear with, bear with. Uh, no, number 17. Hello, they're here. Uh, we are going to be having cake, by the way, at 11 o'clock. Today, I've brought carrot cake, chocolate cake, and a Victoria sponge. Thank what are you going to have, Gemma? Carrot cake. Carrot, are you? It's got lemon frosting icing on the top. Lemon cheese Perfect. frosting. Kerry? I'm not fussy. You're not fussy. Cassie? Uh, Victoria sponge. Are you? Victoria sponge. Oh, well, I'm going in for the chocolate. Ladies, start thinking they have to put your orders in. Right. Otherwise, Kerry will have had the lot. So, these are flying out already. We've got 500 aluminium jump rings. 500 of them. Now, you are, they are all saw cut, which means that when they've been cut, they will fit completely together. You've got four packs which are the bright silver and then one which is the silver colour um, of 100 of these. So, these are the 5 mil um, with... Um, Internal diameter of 5mm, external 7.4 and then you've also got some of the bright ones of that size as well in the bright silver. So they are 5mm and external diameter uh, 7.4, internal 5. If you're thinking, what? What's she talking about? Don't worry, if that's not making any sense to you, chances are you don't need to need to know the process. But if you are doing um, chain mail, then on the most part, we work along, we talk about the internal and external diameter in order to make your designs exactly how you want them to be. So, you're also going to be getting uh, 100 in the bright, oh sorry, so you get 200 of the bright silver, 100 of the silver colour, and then 200 of the bright silver with the external diameter of 9.1, internal of 6.7. <laughs> Thank you, Dion. Dion singing. Day, 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 day. Yeah, come on. If you've just tuned in, don't worry, we are doing an 80s theme show. I don't think I look cool. Free phone number 0800 644 655 500. And I've got lots of people buying more than one of these packs. Now, on average, if you do a chainmail bracelet, you're going to be using up on average about 200 in a bracelet. But obviously, you can do links and chains so you don't have to do full pieces. You can do parts of necklaces. You can do drops and earrings. So they're going to go such a, such a long way. Also, you don't just have to do chain mail. They're really very functional as well. Oh, this is nice. We've got people having a tour around this morning. Uh, there's, yeah, we've got people having a tour around. And I just thought it would show, you know, let's do the 80s. Showing me high-waisted jeans. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> so, yeah. We are looking good today. We are looking good. Right, 8.95 on all of these. We've got 74 of them left. And there's some people looking around thinking, who on earth is she on that tally? What is she doing? We're having a giggle, aren't we? Keep your 80s chats coming in. Keep your texts coming in. £8.95. Uh, Opal fruits are now called Sarbos. I know, Lorna. Lorna. I, you see, also, Jif. Jif's now called Sif. Why is that? Jif, Sif. Yeah? I know. Hi Lucy and Gemma, fab show for me. It was Bay City Rollers, mud and shawaddy waddy. Uh, my tartan bottom trousers, braces and tartan scarf. Do you know what? My husband still has his tartan trousers. To say. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. I call them his Paddington Bears. They are. Oh, sorry, it's Rupert Bears. They're shocking, but hey, brilliant. Uh, I love, this is from Linda in Sussex. I loved Adamant and I had puffy lace uh, shirt like the one he had in the, in uh, Sand and Deliver uh, video. And love your outfits. And that's from Linda Philip from Hastings. Oh, memories. Uh, another one here. Morning all, 80s. Well, I only have one thing to say. Spandau Valley. Gold. That's from Gemma in the West Midlands. Always believe in your soul. You have the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in. Go. What can I, I need a hairbrush. I've got a brush a brush. 
Something I can learn. Uh, I heard that Jif changed to Sif because the company went global. But if Jif was a naughty, Hi. but Jif was a naughty word, it's like, was it? <laughs> well, it, somebody else thinks put it's called Sif because a little old lady put it on her pancakes and nearly died. <sighs> no, because we had Jif lemon, lemon juice and Jif. No, that's awful. In 2001, the name in most of these countries was changed to SIF in order to harmonise marketing and product inventories across the continent. Hello, Blow. How very fabulously technical of you. Thanks, doll. My favourite 80s. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you're blah, blah, blah. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Love that. Love that joy. Yeah. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine. And then Frankie. I loved that. Will you remember? I loved that one. Frankie. <laughs> and then it was it was all about, wasn't it, recording the top 40 on your tape recorder, completely illegally, so you could have your own mixtape before the DJ came in. Press record and then, uh, hi Lucy and Gemma, nearly everything from the 80s has been renamed. Why? I work in a factory that makes party rings. We do mini ones now too. Eileen. Did you get samples? Come on, Eileen. Oh, <laughs> thanks for that, Ollie. Oh, do, do, do. Uh, right, we've still got some more of those children rings. Well, why yet? Why has everything been renamed on the 80s? It was such good times. Good times. Hard times, but a feel good factor on top of things as well, wasn't there? Right. It was a tough time as well, wasn't it, the 80s? But we're going to we're going to focus on the disco party time, top of the pops, and we're going to do a bit of girls want to have fun. So, walk up in the morning, like my mother said, when you're going to live your life right. Carrie's looking at me. I tell you, some people out there will be hating this show today. This is going to be a Marmite show, isn't it? Marmite. You're going to love it or hate it. And if you hate it, sorry, we're only doing it today. Uh, right. Ah! Girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls, they want to have fun. That's all they really want. I think that was my most watched film. Really? When I was a kid, yeah. I think that's probably the one I watched the most. You see, I think Fame was my 80s one. Yeah, well, all the dance naughty. ones. Because my sister was into a dance. Yeah. So. Chorus line, which I think was the end of the 70s. Don't remember that one. I'm not sure, actually. You don't know Chorus line? <gasps> oh, it's fabulous. Anyway, we'll carry on with this for now. Um, this is a fabulous, real feel good bundle where you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven strands of genuine gemstones. You've got the, in terms of the largest ones, these rose pink quartzite at 14 mil. You've then got two strands of the quartzite at 10 mil. Uh, you've then got another strand of quartzite at eight mil. You've got these uh, rounds at, bear with me a second, 10 mil on the uh, quartz, and they are puffy coins. And then the dinkier ones, four millimetres on the uh, fuchsia striped faceted agates and on these dyed faceted rondelles of quartz they're four by two now they're all averaging and well you're guaranteed a minimum of 35 uh, centimetres morning helena morning. Love thanks doll she's mm -hmm. loving the outfit thank you darling that's helena producer for this afternoon show folks right 0800 644 655 let's do something really amazing with the price of this we're on a feel good factor let's make you feel amazingly good with the price that we're going to do free phone number 0800 644 655 we should be looking at just over 27 pounds for all of these they were going to be 17.95 but hey girls just want to have fun uh -oh, oh girls just want to have because that price is what they really want. <laughs> Such fun. $14.95. Amazing. 
Now, Gemma, obviously, that's an incredibly versatile collection, isn't it? It is, yeah. It was a close second for me with this. Oh, was it? Yeah, I was trying to work out which one, but it's lovely. It's a lovely bundle of gems, isn't it? Especially if you're starting out. Yeah, because you've got your rounds in there. Your now, rounds. with your first purchase, you're going to receive this free DVD and this free booklet as well. I feel like I should be presenting a children's TV programme wearing this outfit. Mm. What was it? Oh, Sunday morning TV. Uh, 14 95 for the bundle and you're gonna get this free booklet and free DVD going live was it going live yeah live and kicking <coughs> Michaela Strachan with Michaela Strachan yeah yeah going wild now as well and then um oh what was it Pat Cash did House of Fun house. Fun house. Hi Lizzie and Gemma, I love the ankle warmers in the 80s. My two little girls always wore them to match their jumpers. And it was jumper dresses, wasn't it, as well? Dash jumper dresses with the little bobble people on them. Mm. Yeah. Shell suits and, da and jumper dresses. Trolls. Leg warmers though, hun. Yeah. Useful. What's it? Slouch boots. Yeah. Pick little winkle. pixie slouch boots. Pixie boots. But they're all back, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are. I know. Okay, it's time to just change the atmosphere slightly here because we are going to bring to you another connoisseur collection. Now, I was telling you earlier on in the show, some have got the drill hole in and some haven't, which means it's brilliant because this collection is so versatile whether you just want to just gem set or if you do want to strand your gemstones. So these ones don't have the drill hole in. These are spectacular. Oh, sorry, which ones do you want to do then? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were on the round. So, we've got round cut coming up later that doesn't have the drill hole in. We're going to do the trillion now. This does have a drill hole in. So, some of the collection does, some of them, some of it doesn't, which is brilliant because it means it's a really, really, really versatile collection. Um, you can choose to strand it. Or, and even though the drill hole is there, on some of the designs, you might not even see it, depending on what you want to do with it, because this one is tinily hidden at the top. I didn't actually even realise there was one here at first. Oh my word. Um, have you got a, has anyone got a cloth, please? Because I've just got, I could do with giving this a little bit of a rub down. Stunning, aren't they? Mm. Now, when you're looking at this here, look down the sides, okay? So look at the profile on the sides now. Can you see those facets that go in a completely different direction than we typically show? Now, when these gemstones come around as well, I want you to look right through the centre of them. Look at the facets. Look, 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 they're like an incredible kaleidoscope. Now this is a vision cut. So it's a variation on a trillionth cut. You've got the trillionth shape, but then it's all the facets that actually change the way that the gemstone um, is actually seen and the way that the light enters into the gemstone. We get this incredibly different dispersion of light. So have a look in again. Have a look into the center of each of these. Now you'll see just on the side there, you can see the drill hole on the side of that one coming around. That isn't a blemish on the stone. That isn't an impurity. That's just where you can see the side drill hole for it. It means that you can use this as a drop style or you could prong set it or you could wrap it. Gemma, how do you think you'd use them? I think I would use a drill hole for drop, for you would. making it drop. Um, and it also gives you, um, when you've got a drill hole, it means that you can do a more, you can still do your wire wrap, but you don't have to be quite so um, heavy with your prongs then, which means you can leave more of the gem exposed. Because you've got the security exposed. of the fact that it's yeah. not going to come off the shank if you're yeah. doing a ring. Let me show it to you this way. Um, Gemma, do you, could you possibly just pass me a piece of beading thread, please? Thank you. Look at that. Look at the cut. So all the way around.
You're going to get three of these. Now we've got very, very limited stock on it once again. We've now... Oh my word, they're going quickly. We've only got 24, 23 left now. Okay, let me pop um, a bit of beading thread through here. I might have to um, just cut the end of this off actually. I oh, know, it's gone through. <gasps> Can you imagine using this alongside the 925 sterling silver chains that we had on earlier? Now, interestingly enough, I've got quite a lot of the same people buying the gemstones. And you're obviously very knowledgeable because you can see that it's exceptional quality, isn't it? Can you imagine those as earrings? Allow the light to pour into them. Okay, we've got a lot of people joining us on the line. They are a spectacular. This is about the colour, the clarity, the cut and the carat weight. Send in evaluations on these. You'll be blown away. I know you will. Now, remember, the way that we buy gemstones here, the way that we are dealt with and the way that we deal with various different suppliers in the, um, in the gemstone industry means that we get the deals on the most extraordinary opportunities like this. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, Ollie's just su suggesting different designs, but just simple pendant and a pair of earrings for these. This is the calibre I would expect to see in the likes of some of the world's most prestigious boutiques of gemstones jewellery. Look, at, look, just look at that angle there. Look at those cuts. The clarity of these. The fact that you've got the bonus, the fact they've got a drill hole just underneath one of the top points of the trillion cut. <gasps> it does, doesn't it? Ollie's just saying, my director Ollie's just saying, it almost has a cathedral element to it. Look, there's only 14 of this selection left now. IFON29. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Our last one was 149. I was not expecting... Yeah, Dion's taken a bit of a hit on them. Good luck, everyone. 0800, 6 double four, six double five. <laughs> They're so stunning. Right, we've got a lot of you wanting them and they are incredibly... It's about the colour... It's about the clarity and it's all about the cut of these, the work of the lapidaris. They are stunningly sensational. And if you are collectors of high end pieces, you are gonna be able to make your own collection of very, very high end pieces using these. They're stunning, IFON29. Okay, we're now gonna go over to Gemma. And I've gotta be honest, I am completely, totally and utterly craving that chocolate cake. I'm excited. Beautiful. Did you just say we've got no knives for the cake? Is that why Dion is literally there? She has ripped the packaging open. Obviously, I put it in packaging because I didn't want to look like an. I didn't want to put Mary Berry to shame, so I've put it in a pack so it looked like it was shop bought. Um, and literally, Dion's been like clawing away at it. Watch which one of you opened so far, the Victoria Sponge. What about in the kitchen? Wouldn't that be a good place to start? We've always got the, um, the file from the bundle, or we could... We'll find a way to get into that cake, trust me. Right, I'm on my way. For those of you who've been texting in saying you're, you absolutely love Gemma's necklace and we've been absolutely inundated with comments about the necklace Gemma's been wearing in the show today, it comes from this next kit. It's called Bucks Fizz. Making your mind up. And if you want to see some more, risque, let's go. Okay, amazing. Oh, I'll tell you what, these, Drew's jeans are quite comfy. My husband's jeans, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. right. Gemma. Oh, my word. I love this kit. I absolutely loved it. First so, I it arrived with the orange, orange but... Oh, it crappy. is... A pizzazz of a kit, a real pizzazz, a real pizzazz. It's selling already, it's flying out already. Um, you're going to get 118 findings, you're going to get four 
incredibly big carrot weight uh, strand gemstones mm -hmm. and two lots of wire I think we should go straight in to have a look at this jewellery because you've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery from one kit. The value for money in this is extraordinary. And if you were to buy one colour for the coming season, orange is it? Orange. Oh, I love orange. It's my favourite anyway. But so if we start this one, yeah, start yeah. that in. That was actually to use up what was left. This one? Yeah, because I'd done all these and I still had gems left. I couldn't believe it. It so just went on and on. Because you, you have not used anything other than what's in the kit. So no. you get all the wire that you can see. You get the chain. You get the head pins. This is flying out. The gorgeous earrings here. This kit's going to what? 11 piece of genuine gemstone jewellery and it's going under £40. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. This necklace is fabulous. So if we work our way along all the necklaces first, and then you can see the gizmo coils, this piece here, and all the findings, so all of your clasps and everything. I love the fact that you've got the little triangles going on on there mm. from the head pins. Now this is a necklace that, Gen, uh, that Gemma has been using. Uh, using? Wearing. wearing. I'm ready for a piece of cake. So many <laughs> <that> one. <gasps> That's stunning. That's exactly the sort of thing I make for myself. Is it? In fact, this kit is exactly what I would buy to make for myself. I'd wear every single piece of that. I think we need to send Gemma Crow away with some of these, though. Mm. And then you've got this big, amazing statement piece here. Stain with statement. Gorgeous bracelet where Gemma has put it on the elastic but used little jump rings in between. Great use of the beading thread and a gorgeous toggle clasp on the back there. You get every single component that Gemma has used from down to the crimp bead and the spacer bead. You get every single one. Gorgeous earrings with the gizmo coils. Matching bracelet to the necklace that Gemma has been wearing. That's amazing. Are we going to... We're going to do the bead, yeah. Yes, good. I'd wanted to know how to do that. There's fabulous. Look, there's only 30 of these left now. This is going to be a sellout kit. We haven't even brought the price in. Um, oh, it's twenty four ninety five. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of genuine gemstone jewellery. So you're going to be getting these four amazing strands um, of magnesite. They're absolutely amazing. Huge, 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 huge statements. You're going to get all of your threading materials. You'll get two lots of wire, ten meters of point five and ten meters of point six and then 118 findings as well. So, Gemma, where did you start? Uh, I can't remember which one I started with now, but I think I love these. These are my some of my favorite shapes. I've got these in every color, in all sorts of colors. The, every time we the have discs them. discs of the hematite. Love the discs, I just love them. The, sorry, have I been saying hematite? Magnesite. Did I, yeah, it is magnesite. I think I, I might have said hematite before. I don't know, yeah, the magnesite. They're so versatile, and like the bracelet in the center um, is only seven of those slabs. And, I mean, there's so many on there, so you can really stretch them out, or you can use them heavy and, you know, and have that lovely graduated chunky neckline piece. So I think I started with that. I knew instantly I wanted, well, to be honest, I could have just put a clasp on that and wore it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> big, a big chunky metal bead or something in the center, and that would be perfect for me. But yeah, it, just one idea after another because it's so easy to work with. You don't have to think about colour combinations. So that takes one of the design elements out of it for you. Yeah, so it's it really can be quite easy. intimidating, can't it? Yeah. Putting colour together. Yeah, so I love this one. Fab. So we're going to learn how to do encasing the beads. Yeah, and it's Fab. ridiculously simple. So it's right, literally going to take a few seconds. Um, the great thing about this as well is 0.25 millimetre wire. When you um, undo it, it always springs, unless you've got some of our lovely wire guards. You yeah. Know? Um, but it always springs off, and for this, it actually, you don't. It doesn't matter. In fact, the more tangled, the better. So just take off, um, pull off about a meter, about a me two meters worth. It really has got got tangled. <laughs> Try the other end. Yeah, there we go, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should have prepared, Life shouldn't I? <laughs> <telly>. <laughs> right. 
but she said the more tangled the better. What I do want is when, I mean I could just literally chop that off and do it, but then I'm going to have lots of little ends to tuck yeah. in. So I want to keep the ends to a minimum, so it is do better to Do you want to, to just start on a new reel? You're Gemma Grow, you can do what you want. No, I don't want to. Here we go. You sure? Yeah, but, right, two metres-ish, okay? Okay. The more you take, um, the more of uh, your, your bead you're going to cover, or the larger a bead you're going to pop inside. So then you take it like this, you literally screw it up in your hands, and make sure it's all getting in. If it's too straight, give it a twist. Roll it into a, a very loose ball. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. And then make a little hole, pop your gemstone inside, and then with it inside, roll it again quite firmly this time. And then you have your bead oh, covered. How ridiculously good was that? And then you can just thread it like you would. A normal bead. A normal bead. Amazing. Amazing. That's it. Talking about amazing. <laughs> That's that then. Let's go to the Wall of Fame. Someone's texted, if you can't find a knife, use the blade from the clay. <laughs> to cut the cake. If that's our only option, that will be, that it. Will be it. Thank you for it. We are having cake in or the break. Or the leather shears. Or the leather shears. Cut the cake. Yeah. I cut pizza with um, scissors. <laughs> that's a good plan, actually. I do. That's not a bad idea. I do. I cut pizza with scissors. Why wouldn't you? I do! For it to check that's Oh. Do you know what? I think the way this has been photographed as well, it's really beautiful. I think it really sets it off. I've seen this in the flesh. Have you? I have indeed. How? Let me just check. Yeah. Hmm? No, it happened. No, oh, it happened. Hmm? Fascinating, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Samantha Tukey. How are you, lovely? Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. A fuchsia-made copper sheet. Um, <laughs> A fuchsia, sorry, made from copper sheet and amethyst faceted nuggets, all from Jam. I hope you like it. I've fallen in love with this medium. Lots of love to you all and good luck to all in the draw from Samantha Tukey. Samantha, that is so, so, so beautiful. And patinaed. Mm. It's stunning. We've got some of the um, liver of sulfur gel still available for you at just six ninety five for the bottle. I have got number 478, and this is lovely, very Christmassy actually, and um, it says, it's from Heather Baldwin, yeah, she nice. says, hi all, this is my wall of fame entry, I do use sterling silver, but the rounds are, I do use sterling silver, but the rounds are gorgeous bright red coral from JM, and I wore this necklace and earrings to a pagan wedding recently, mm. I love the show, but I spend far too much money, um, can we have some more silver clay items on please, and that's a big thank you from Heather in London. Heather, that is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Four, seven, eight. Good luck, my lovely. Four, eight, one. A really stunning set here from Jane in Winsford. How are you, lovely Jane? And it says, hi. Well, the weather has certainly become a lot cooler and the central heating was on last night. Oh, I haven't succumbed just yet. Um, my mm. wall of fame this week is made from amethyst twisted barrels with purple quartz like facetish rondelles and lemon quartz. I use silver plated 0.4 wire for the drops and lovely patterned silver toggle clasp to finish it off. It's very comfy to wear, plus all the items are from JM of course. Many thanks to the designers and presenters and everyone behind the scenes which make JM uh, so brilliant and not forgetting the gorgeous gemstones and wire etc. I've been playing with the sari yarn but as yet nothing has materialised that I can send in so it's still work in progress. Good luck to all in the draw on Wednesday but it would be very nice if I won a first prize so I've only ever won a second prize. Take care, bye from Jane. Jane. Uh, you are 481, we wish you luck, hun. And I think there'll be some people going, she's already won, she's won second prize. I think we've got some people who enter every single week and have mm. for four years. And it's like playing the lottery, isn't it? Because it it's is. just packed at random. Right, I've got number 479, and it's from Debbie in Glasgow. She says, here's my entry. It's a smoky quartz carved flower gizmo wirework bracelet with a handmade clasp. All materials from JM. Good luck to everyone. It's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely, really, simple. Really lovely. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Good luck to you, 479. And then the final one is 482. Check this out. This is from Michelle in Dunford Bridge near Homeford. How is the wrinkled stocking tea room, darling? I talk about it every time, Michelle, don't I? 
Hi all at JM Towers, I hope you're all okay and here's my entry into this week's Hall of Fame. A triple pre-night rosary chain necklace and matching earrings that's fast becoming one of my favourite gemstones. It took me a while but it was well worth it and I hope you agree. Good luck to all the other waffers but of course I could do with a win as I would love to go on one of Gemma's courses. And that's from Michelle in Home First. Michelle is beautiful, really beautiful design, Definitely. good luck. Right, we are going to go to a short break. When we come back, I've got white topaz coming your way. We've got another amazing kit. We're going to do a slightly, um, yeah, well, we're going to talk loads more about it in the 80s, quite frankly. But right now, what cake do you want? Carrot. carrot absolutely. I'm going to have some chocolate. Cake. I'll have chocolate, please. Chocolate for me, carrot for Gemma. Carrie is easy like Sunday morning. She'll have whatever's going. See you tomorrow. The latest edition of the Lure Book is now available. This highly regarded gemstone encyclopedia features over 1,300 pages full of facts and knowledge. Discover the places, the people and the stories behind every gemstone. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you will receive 20% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners, including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. If you miss a Jewelry Maker show, then simply go to our YouTube page where you'll be able to find hours of Jewelry Maker footage. Search by show, date or type. Alternatively, search by guest designer by using our playlist page. You can also find hours of tutorials with handy hints and tips to give you inspiration. Our YouTube page is updated on a daily basis so you can access any show at any time. Stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. Now this is icicle, it's crisp, it's 
Frozen, the musical uh, Disney film. It just encapsulates elegance and it's genuine natural white topaz. So you've got these beautiful inclusions that really add to the character of these stunning, stunning gemstones. And what's really stunning is while I'm talking to you about this, Ben is putting his hair in a side ponytail. <laughs> You feel like you're not in keeping because it says you're not in keeping, but you're going to do your hair in a side pony. Ben, would you like to come and show the viewers your side ponytail? This is going to look dreadful. Amazing, amazing. Thank you, That's Ben, okay. for getting into the spirit of the 80s show. We're going to look at some more text in a minute, but the, this is. It looks like I can see chandelier style earrings, a big bib style necklace, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. But the fact that you can see the inclusions in here is a real wow factor for the character of the stone. Now there's 90 carats of the topaz and they go by, there are 15 by nine. Oh, they have got the, it's sort of like a snow queen. -y. Now, I tell you what, can we get really, really close on these, please? Because the golden, the slight delicate golden hue um, running through these and a delicate, beautiful, beautiful sparkle that gives them almost like a glittery undertone that's naturally occurring. These are completely natural. Gemma, Gemma Crow gets given these, and what does Gemma Crow do? Um, well, the other day, funny enough, I watched a documentary on um, Roberta Pezzo's jewellery collection. Oh, did you? Yeah, and it's, it's an old documentary anyway. Oh, we don't know if your mic's on. Oh, it's not. It's not. That's what she's just said. She's actually turned it off. Sorry. Okay, so, let's remind. So, <laughs> Gemma Crow gets given this strand of gemstones. What does Gemma Crow do? Um... Well, funnily <laughs> enough, the other day I watched a documentary about Elizabeth Taylor <coughs> and her jewellery collection, and it was, and she, it's so inspiring. The jewellery is so over the top, um, but I just loved it, and I would probably um, mimic some earrings that she actually had in topaz. Oh, really? Um, yeah. So you can, I would probably mimic those. I'm feeling quite inspired by that collection at the moment. Were they chandelier style? Yeah, or? yeah a larger drop in the centre and then smaller, three smaller drops hanging from it. So you'd need to make a frame to go around the larger one. With then some you little can, loops. Yeah, and you can hang. Stunning. Yeah, really lovely. You know what I'm going to do. It doesn't really work with the side ponytail, but Kim Kardashian, second wedding. Mm -hmm. um, but also just having them... Just wow, just delicately on the neckline. You can see, look at the colour. I've got them on the, you know, the dark background there. And look at the way you could wear a simple black dress. Because it's very, very, very on trend at the moment to wear jewellery that's attached to your clothes. Isn't it? Just have like a little press stud, a little popper um, around the neckline of your dress or your top that you're wearing or your jacket. And the jewellery actually attaches onto that. Right, the code is JRRU50, 90 carats. This is a brand new strand. They are a nine by six up to a 15 by nine. Oh, oh, look, we're having a look here at some of Elizabeth Taylor's jewelry. That's when she played Cleopatra, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Now have a look in that center necklace. Look at the drops at the bottom of there. That actually is completely doable as a design to recreate with wire and stones isn't it yeah yeah um, i imagine that can you imagine the amethyst from <gasps> this morning or even the smoky quartz set or even do you know look but look look look, look this is a perfect shape those amethysts coming up later for the earrings perfect absolutely perfect I've got some more amethysts on their way to you. Right, so we're looking at an amazing gemstone. This topaz, one of December's birthstones, uh, sorry, November's birthstones, and we will be, I was saying this yesterday actually, we're gonna be in November before we know it, aren't we? I oh, know. 24.95, and if you're planning a fabulous holiday away, you could be making splendid jewelry to feel fabulous on your jollies um, wearing this. 0800 644 655. 
planning any little holidays away, Gemma? Not the moment. Not the moment. No. Who knows Who what knows? may happen? 0800 six double four six double five. Few of you there yet to confirm it with it in your baskets, and I do think sort of that ice queeny real icicle feel would just be perfect. Now, also to let you know, we're going to be doing at about twelve o'clock. About twelve o'clock. You know, I had the Matrix collection yesterday in the silver colour that flew out and sold out in seconds. I've got it in the gold colour today. Yeah, coming up at twelve. So beautiful findings. Two hundred of them and we had some price comparisons sent into the show yesterday and if we were working on the average price that people were seeing these findings for elsewhere our collection would be 200 just under 200 pounds we're going under 50 mm. the 80s the 80s ben what year were you born do 92. i want to know pardon 92 no 1992 When I went in yes, that. if you were born in the 90s, you are still at primary school, surely. No, no. So I think that with people who were born after the millennium. You think of that That's with children, strange. people who were born after the millennium? Yeah. No, people who are born after the millennium are in pushchairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Surely. Yeah, that's, see, that's what I think. You see, in my head, I'm still about 22. Mm. Yeah. 22, was it? Yeah. A good year, was it, Lucy? Right, Pardon? Was it a good year? It was 20. Do you know what? Actually, I was 22 when I met my husband. Oh, so yeah. It was an amazing was a great year, year then. It was an amazing year. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. I travelled the world and met my future husband. All went downhill from there. Right. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, let's do. <gasps> oh, oh, I tell you what. Lady in red. She's dancing. Now, this really annoys me about that song. No offence, Christopher, but... <laughs> sort of ask you if you wanted to dance. Looking for a little romance. Dance and romance. It should be either dance and romance or dance and romance. Shouldn't it? Romance. But it isn't. Ask you if you wanted to dance. Looking for a little romance. Just thought I'd tell you about that. Something perhaps that you've never listened to before, never realised it. What was that, sorry? My guitarist is related to him. Your guitarist in your band is related to Christa Berg. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love a little bit of factual information. You see, where was that information said. the other day when we were talking about William Shakespeare and who you might be related well, to? You didn't come out with that one. It's called a name drop. That's a name drop. It's a good <laughs> one. Christa Berg. Now, I'll tell you what, did you see the movies on yesterday's show? If you wanted that look, but they're out of your price range, I think you could achieve a very similar look with these. Aren't they the juiciest, richest, saturated, sexy pomegranate red? And I'd, just, I'd have to go for gold findings with those myself. Yeah, it would look very sumptuous with gold. Yeah. Or rose gold or copper with the raw copper. Yeah, I would I would lean towards the raw copper and make them a little more edgy than than classic. Classic, yeah. I think. Do you know what I can see that our um, our guests in the Sunday experience today had their heads turned by this one actually. So KT G C zero nine. So you're looking at massively double trouble here. 15 up to, sorry, five up to a 15 millimetres. Now these are 40 centimetre strands each of these. You're getting two of those. And you're also going to be getting two of the uh, four mil faceted rounds as well. And that's 35 centimetres each of those strands. So 40 centimetres on these. Now you'll notice actually on the large ones, you've got some um, little knots in between each one. So you could literally just pincer, crimp bead covers over each of those. And you've got a ready-made necklace ready to go. So KTG C09, free phone number 0800 644 Anne and Jenny, Carol, Rachel, Elaine, and anonymous uh, shoppers, Marion, Christine, Shona, Lindsay, Alison, Rosemary, Anita, and Vicky, look, 1495 for all four. And the, aren't they just going to be the colour that you want to wear with black as well in the party season? Moody, sexy gemstones, aren't they? Mm. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, well done, Rona and Jen and Lynn and Jeffrey and Pearl and Anne and Joan and Lindsay and Alison and Linda and Kathleen and Tracy and Lindsay and Anita. At 75 of these chances, we're going to fly out. They're going to fly out at 14.95. That depth of colour. And dare I say, you could even make your Christmas tree decorations out of these, that depth of colour. And then in the new year, you change it. But also, uh, in the new year, you turn it into jewellery. Also, just really lovely for weddings as well, because the deep colour of red, romance and roses, it's always ever present within, red, uh, within weddings. And just having a little interspersed. We had an amazing pearl showcase, didn't we? Yes today uh, yesterday afternoon with uh, Linda and then just to interject these with pearls what are the gemstones you think you put alongside them Gemma spinel oh <coughs> even this what about using these with the first kit with the first kit yeah especially the rose gold chain would look amazing mm, nice in the first kit because really the pyrite sweet. would look lovely with that yeah, as well and those little tiny dinky black spinel mm, gorgeous. those black spinel just interspersed with these very I'm gonna be boring and say me downton Mm. Downton S. Katie, GC09. 0800 644 for four strands. Big, 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 big carrot weight here. And giving you uh, 1495 for four strands. That is an absolute giveaway. Look at the depth of those colours. Look at those. There's masses of them there. Masses, masses, masses. And the fact that you can literally just pop a little crimp bead cover over each of those pearl knots, should you choose. You've got a great size necklace. In fact, let me hold this one up to my neckline for you. Right, that's me holding it together. I haven't even left space for a clasp there, and it still sits at that level. Good size, like gorgeous colour. A real wow factor colour. Yeah, I think with black, it's the way I'd go with that. Even look nice in my challenge bundle. Oh yeah, with the with the yellow. Yeah. <gasps> Actually, with that purple wire as well, it looks amazing. Loving the eighties theme. Seeing Ben's ponytail reminded me of men with rats' tails in the eighties. <sighs> Lucy, I'm still twenty two as well, although my son is Ben's age. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. It's eighties, so your sheets sleeves should be rolled up as high as you can get them. I'm trying, Sarah, but they keep coming down because I've got an, a silky insert. They were. They were. Let me see if I do it that way. Hi, Lucy and Gemma and crew. I would love to be a fly on the wall. I bet you run for the cave when the rain comes in. Love the madness. Sandra in Lancashire. Sandra, are you actually a fly on our wall? That's exactly what we did. We all zoned in there. Um, Cassie, you'll be glad to know, has found a knife. So we're all right. We didn't have to use. Now I feel like my circulation is getting cut off. Maybe not that far up. I'll just pop it to there. Uh, right, yeah, we have had our cake fix. Have you had your cake? Have you had your cake? Now, have you had party rings? Have you had your, um, oh, what was it called? Um, Neapolitan ice cream. Neapolitan ice cream, a slither put between two wafers. From the ice cream man. Mm -hmm. Does the ice cream man still do wafers? Can you? Can you still get a wafer? Still get wafers, yeah. Can you? Terry's looking like we're talking a different language. Okay, let's go to... How much do you reckon we'll do two strands of emeralds for today? I'm not appreciating my makeup today, can I just tell you that? Um, how much do you think these two strands of emeralds... This is screaming, Linda. Linda would be all over these in a flash. Actually, from the look of Gemma's face as well, she would too. I love them too. Go on, what would you do? Again, copper or rose gold, definitely with the green, it's gorgeous. And I might do some sort of um, rolled up necklace and have those um, drops hanging mm. at the bottom. Something quite chunky maybe with those drops. And then the rondelles, I would use them um, in other pieces sort of interspersed amongst pearls or something like that. Mm. We're going to do both strands for under £50 today. So it's going to work out less than £25 a strand of genuine emeralds. Now your faceted drops, they are amazing. And these are completely, totally 
and utterly natural. They are Brazilian emeralds, so you've got that lovely variety of colour. They're totally natural emeralds. We'll do both of them for less than 40. We'll do both of them for less than 30 for both strands of emeralds and Maureen and Jenny and Sabine well done straight in there VHG C49 so your faceted drops let me just get the sizes up for you again bear with me a second um you are going to be getting the faceted drops go from a 9 by 6 to a 22 by 7 and then you've got the plain rondelles which I shall show you here and these plain rondelles go from a 5 by 3 up to a 9 by 4 they're 17 centimeters from bead to bead we're gonna do both strands for less than 25 pounds it's a really amazing offer of 190 carats of genuine natural emerald clearance price at 19.95 it's a first come first serve basis 190 carats of genuine natural organic emerald here at jewelry maker but it's only now you need to call up and you need to use that code now less than 20 pounds for 190 carats of natural emerald this is because of the buying power of the company this is because we're doing a clearance price and i would highly recommend that you get these valued well done diana and pauline and uh, elaine and Vicky and lots of anonymous people once again in here. Congratulations at 1995 for two strands of genuine natural organic emerald. It is ridiculous. Now you'll also see at the bottom of your screen, we've still got some of the bead scoop and findings pack available for you today at just eight pounds and 95 pence. These are flying out, obviously they are. There's 190 carats of genuine natural emerald there for 1995. Free phone number 0800 644 655. If you've got a phone in your hand and you enter a little bit of a queue, don't worry, we know you're there. Press your option one and we'll speak to you in order that you've called your option one and uh, confirm your purchase as soon as we speak to you. We're not a channel where we call you back. We do it all in one go because it's a free phone number. 0800 644 655. They're still flying out at less than 20 pounds, but once they've gone, they've gone now you've got a 30 day money back guarantee so you might want to do what one of our anonymous uh, shoppers in greater london has done and bought three because you can always get these valued you can always get them home check them out see if you're going to use them if you don't use them within 30 days maybe do that to yourself say you know what i'll keep them if i've used them if i haven't used them i'd send them back 0800 655 you are joined by the very fabulous vicky field this afternoon everybody she's going to look very very normal compared to how we look this morning oh yeah uh, very beautiful, it's a very lovely lady. Uh, now, Banana Rama, ah, thank you. Because I couldn't remember Banana Rama songs earlier. Okay. Robert De Niro's waiting, ducking it down. Yeah. Uh, with Fun Boy 3. I can't remember that. But I can remember. It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Loving the show from Jane in Liverpool. Thank you, darling. We're talking the 80s. Vicky, do I want to know what year you were born? Yeah. You were 1980. 1980, year that God made me. So, memories of the 80s. What does the 80s say to oh, you, hon? Neon. Neon. Mm. We've got neon coming up, I tell you. <laughs> Are you appreciating the uh, the side oh, ponytail? Lovely. Where are my husband's jeans? Lovely. You needed a crimper. I did need a crimper. My crimper was not crimping it this morning. <laughs> I know, gutted. Uh, 19.95 for two strands of genuine natural emeralds, still available for you. 0800 644 Who's the guest designer this afternoon, please, ladies? Oh, Hannah Oxbury. The fabulous Hannah Oxbury will be joining you with Vicky Field this afternoon. It's destined to be a fabulous day. Hi, love the 80s show. You look like Rosie from Rosie and Jim. <laughs> Tagging along on the old rag doll, which actually is based in the town where I live. And Rosie, the rag doll, actually, I think is still in the town where I live. I remember fondues, twin sets and pearls with high waisted jeans. Love you all, Jan. Jan, I did love you until you decided I look like Rosie from Rosie and Jim. Is it me over the top, Rosie? I love it, I love you. Pink elephants in lemonade. Oh, yeah. That Pink elephants in... That was a Madonna song. Ice elephants yeah. that you could put... I don't remember that. I remember school discos where the pink elephants went round the room on, like, the lights were pink elephants. It was a Madonna song as well. That was it? at primary school as well. <laughs> Venus. Venus. I knew Venus, I knew. Pardon? Banana Rama. Well, I can't remember how that goes. 
It's on the shaving advert. How's it go? <laughs> go on, Helena, come on. Be a team player. Come on. Oh, no. Venus. If someone says it, I don't mind singing it really badly. There's another. Dear Jesse by Madonna. Yeah, that's Pink Elephants oh. Lemonade. Oh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Yes. Oh, it was a quite a lyrical one, wasn't it? Oh, you know exactly how it goes. I well, know, I, I know. And my head's all confused with Robert De Niro singing, yeah. Robert De Niro talking Italian and, and stay, stay. Uh, hi, this is Gemma Fab Show. Just sending a wave to Sharon. Oh, uh, Louise Townsend on the Sunday Experience. Hope she's enjoying it. Love, Karen Crawford. Hello, Sharon Louise Townsend. Now, Sharon Louise Townsend, I'm going to out everybody on live TV as being a lady who has bopped her way through a lot of this show today. I don't know if she's realised it, but she has been having a little bop while she's been making. Loving your work, Sharon, loving your work. Uh, another one here. Help! I didn't get out to do shopping yesterday and the connoisseur collection is gluing me to my seat today. When are the next ones coming up, please? Denise, doll, they're coming up in less than 10 minutes. Are we going to be doing the amethyst next? Or the smoky quartz? We're going to do some amethyst ne um, next time. Um, oh, uh, how can I possibly... Madison, thank you, hun. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're loving the 80s. We're loving the 80s. Now, I do feel like I might need to reapply my lippy. Hmm. Lip coat. That was a good invention from the 80s, wasn't it? My mum still uses it. Sorry, mum. Right, let's crack on. Which one, which one? Number 14. Come on, the retro wide. Look at these. Now, you are getting 10 meters on each of these. Gemma Crow, mm -hmm. going below staff cost, hun. You're blatantly not going to get it either, are you? Because you're here. No. So, 10 meters of 0.6 in the gold color copper wire, 10 meters in the 0.6 of the fuchsia, 10 meters in the chartreuse. Now, this is one mil. And then 10 meters of the twisted wire, 0.8. So that's really the equivalent of working with the points uh, one point six. So, Gemma, what do you tend to use your point six for? <clears throat> that's probably my most used. It's the um, point six I'd use for earring um, findings. I'd use for rosary links. I'd even use it for wrapping if I was using a heavier gauge wrapping or binding, or even a weave if I'm using the heavier gauge wires. So it's very versatile. It's great for gizmo coils as well. It's probably the best for me for gizmo coils. Fab, okay. So then the one mil. The one mil framework, um, bangles, perfect in bangles, perfect for making shapes to then infill or weave with, weave into. Is it just me or does that chartreuse look a bit more muted than usual? I think it's because it's next to that green. You think it's because it's next to the mm. pink? Yeah, uh, to the pink, yes. <laughs> <laughs> next to the green. It next is to the green. green. Do you think? I think so, yeah. Because it just, yeah, I've got it in my head that our chartreuse is more vivid than that. It's beautiful. More beautiful. I think it's because I've presented it in a while. It's more beautiful than I recall. And then the twisted wire. Mm -hmm. So this is twisted 0.8. Right. Wow. Yeah, so that's quite, that's going to be quite a strong wire. So that would be fine for torques, uh, even in a single length. It's also great for doing on gizmos as well. I don't know if you've seen some of Rachel's yeah. work recently. She gizmos the yeah. actual coil, the actual. I think. Uh, De Brudge, or Deb, Deb Brudge, as she's also known, um, yeah. has also done some earrings with twisted coil, coil twisted uh, wire recently as well. So the work of Rachel Norris, the work of Deb Brudge, the work of all our designers, I bow down to them all, they're fabulous. Um, so this one here is the silver and the gold twisted. Can we get a bit of a close up on that one, please? Thank you, team. lovely okay do you know what we're gonna do a ridiculous deal on this we're having an 80s theme show we're gonna get the speed up on this now we're rocking and rolling we're gonna bop our way to the end of the show with some amazing deals at 12.95 for all of them 
We're not staying there. Nine and ninety-five for all the wire. That's <coughs> that's a remarkable price. It is really remarkable. Isn't that what the twisted wire is? On its own. Um, I don't know. Ha Six forty-five on its own twisted oh, wire it? at the moment. It's on offer. Oh. Six forty-five for just this on offer. Nine ninety-five for all of them. This is going to be a sellout, folks. If you've got it in your basket, make sure you're checking your basket out. Well done to all of you there. If you are calling on the phone lines, make sure you're pressing your option one as soon as you call in. It is a free number for you to call up. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Arg. A H aha. Aha. Take me. Take. You see, also ABBA. Bit of ABBA in the 80s. You see, 80s also make me think of my old next door neighbour who used to always do a hoovering to ABBA with the windows open, one of my mum and dad's best friends. Um, and then I'd go round and she used to always make me a glass of Vimpto. Vimpto lollies were quite a big thing of the 80s as well, weren't they? They were, yeah. Cider lollies. Love those. Yeah. Rocket lollies. You can still get rocket lollies, can't you? Yeah. Fab lollies, they've never really gone out. Mini milks. Yeah. Feasts. Can you still get a feast? Yeah. Can you? What about the, the ones that look like a foot? Well, no. In pink as well. They were nice, those. Yeah. I haven't seen those in years. Can you get the pink feet, Kerry? She's seen them in supermarkets. Not in the ice cream van. No. Uh, right, we've got 30 of these chances left, but we've got loads of you with it in your basket. So again, that's going to be a big, big sellout. 0800 6 double 4 6 double 5. You see, oh, quick save. The supermarket. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I've got lots of memories of quick save. Yeah, quick save. Yeah. We used to always go to, when we weren't on holiday, on our caravan <laughs> holidays in Port Maddock, we'd always go to quick save for the shop because it was the big supermarket in Port Maddock. Does anybody else know where the quicksave used to be in Port Maddock? Is anyone else with me on that? Text in. Where did you sit? It's always caravan holidays was the thing to do, wasn't it? Love a caravan holiday. Yeah. Monopoly. Trivial pursuit. You see, if I was very lucky when my mum and dad had a dinner party, I was allowed to stay up and ask the questions. Cluedo. That was a treat. <laughs> Whilst eating some leftover after eights. Or the, um, the, yeah, or matchmakers, yeah. Or the um, ones in the gold wrapper with the bit of mint, mint crunches in the middle. Mm, mm. Are you enjoying the show? <laughs> what do I think this one's called? Well, it's all white. A Madonna song, am I being ridiculous? <laughs> you are actually kidding me. It's not, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It's a Sunday. I have nothing to do with that. I'll tell you, if you've just tuned into Jewelry Maker for the first time today, what an experience. <laughs> have we got anyone brand new shopping with us today, Dion? She could have called it All White Now. It could have been All White Now, baby. It's an All White Now. But instead, she's called it like a virgin right this is dion not me oh eight hundred six triple four six double five now I tell you what though as much as we're having a giggle oh there's me rusy pie you're coming in you're jealous of my look aren't you you're jealous of my image ruth lynette everybody ruth lynette is coming in to make an appearance she's going to come and say hello she knows this cake that's why she's here uh, right we've got two strands of genuine gemstones we're gonna go under 10 pounds for the lot £10 for the lot. 
ID GC58. You've got white satin cord, 10 meters of the one mil white satin cord. You've got 10 meters of the 0.6 white wax cord then you've got a meter of the braided leatherette rope cord and that's three millimeters in its thickness actually looks a bit thicker than that doesn't it and then you've also got clear quartz um by cones and they're four by two up to a five by three 30 centimeter strand and a 31 centimeter strand of rainbow moonstone um measuring seven by six up to 12 by eight and you're getting all of it for oh my word we're not even 7.95 whap that on the order Get it on your order. One post and packaging price all day. Hello, friend. Is that a new dress? No, it's old. I haven't seen that dress before. Oh! I'm loving the hair. Hello, beautiful. I've not seen you for ages. Hello. You've been to Oregon and everything. I know. I know. Hello, everybody. This is Ruth, everybody. Hi. We love each other. Uh, she's one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world, and I've not seen her in ages because she's been to America. I've just had really smelly crisps as well, so Yeah, I can sense that. <laughs> it was not pleasant. So tell everybody what you were doing in America. We went to the fire opal mine. Amazing. I used a jackhammer and everything. Proper full on. Uh, couldn't get it out. But yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's dead, but Karate O'Reilly was brilliant. Had such what an amazing it? time. It was wicked. You got a yeah. tan as well. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. Or is it just because. It's just rust. I just rust. 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 It's like my blue eyeshadow. I love it. That's it's what like I just said. Like blue jeans. <laughs> I was next door with the experience and I went, let's, let's. Oh, is it 80s day? <laughs> That's all right then. That's all right. Uh, nice. I made this scrunchie by myself. Did you? It's yes. very beautiful. In the, very um, impressed. Yeah, in the 80s. Should it's be a genuine 80s. This is vintage. Should be gem encrusted, I'll have to say. Should be gemstone encrusted. This is vintage though. That's all right, then. Vintage. Vintage. These are Vintage. lovely. What have you got yeah, here? Yeah, amazing. So we're looking at rainbow moonstone and white uh, clear quartz, mm. leatherette, satin cords, and wax cord. Seven ninety five for the lot. Bargain. Bargain. What have you been making recently? Because Ruth is also Ruth is one of our presenters on our sister channel, Rocks TV. So if you hear people next door going, Ma, that's usually her. Or oh, whoopage. Um, that's normally me as well. Uh, yeah, and um, you are a nappy jewel maker. What have you been making? I am. Do you know I haven't had a chance to make anything for a while. I know. They're... When have you been doing? You've not done those Launched before, yesterday. Have you? Launched yesterday. <gasps> These are brand new in today. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Hundred and fifty. Really lovely. Hundred and fifty pounds for they're drilled. drilled. Yeah, they're drilled. They're not, and they're not. They're fabulous. They're re I love those. This making course is beautiful. So Works out at fifty pounds each. How amazing was that? That was forty nine ninety five for all three. Gosh, they're gorgeous. And we're about to do those in just a minute. Right, I shall go. Hang on, no, can you just occupy everybody though, please? Because I just need to redo my lippy. Oh, okay, so we've got Like a Virgin. Oh, uh, we've got uh, we've got Emma in Lancashire, Tanya, Linda, Jennifer, and Lynn. Getting all of your quartz, your threading material, your beading material. Look at all of that. It's nice as well, isn't it? You've got your braided cord in there as well. Look at those. Are they fasted? Oh no, they're not. You've got your rondelles. There we go, I'm the wrong way, sorry. Wrong way to the camera. I've got no earpiece, you see. No earpiece, but you've got love. So you've got the clarity of that, and then you've got your opaque on those. They go really well together. They're pretty fab, aren't they? I'm loving that. I'm 7 95 you can't go wrong, can you? But I would say that's the bargain is gold mine ever. Right, I'm going home. I'm off. Are you going home? I'm going to go. I'm going to see if Miller Half wants a big roast. And then you come into the tramway this afternoon. Why? Because Drew's playing. Is he? Yeah. You don't tell me these things. I didn't know until last night. Oh, my word. Right, phone me when you finish. I'll call you later. All I've right. got my phone Bye there. Bye, everybody. Lovely to see you. Get those, because they're amazing. They're amazing. Bye, doll. Bye. Love you. Like a virgin. Hey! Right, cool. That was Ruth, everybody. Ruth. Ruth, I do love you, darling, but those crisps stink. Okay, we are going to just change the scene for a moment because, and again, I really don't feel appropriately dressed for bringing these gemstones to you um, because this is serious collectability. This is serious, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, they're the most extraordinary... Illusion cut rounds. I cannot tell you the last time I saw an illusion cut. Now, when you're looking at this, sorry, um, 
depending on what angle you're going to be seeing it at, it's going to give you a very angular, straight sided look. But they're actually perfect rounds. They're spectacular. That top table is so incredibly smooth. And then the sheer volume of facets that you have all around them. And again, it's not going to be to everybody's taste to have the drill hole there, but it's there in order to be incredibly versatile. The next set in the Connoisseur collection I have for you does not have the drill holes in, and we've got some more smoky quartz coming up for you before the end of the show. But to have that drill hole means that if you're not confident with wire, you can wire wrap knowing it's secure within the design. You pop the wire through first, or you suspend it as a pendant, or Perhaps if you, did you see those Elizabeth Taylor earrings we were looking at before, inspired by Cleopatra uh, when she was in the film, and then the most amazing uh, stood point for then they had these gorgeous drops. And they're very reminiscent of that. I'm going to show you the underneath cutting of them first. Just bear with me a second. Okay. Oh, wow. This is all, again, about the precision of the cut. The most extraordinary tones of those delicate hues of pink. Again, this is natural Bolivian amethyst. These will be a sellout, folks. Phone lines are really high up. Wow. Let me just pick up another one because I want to show this to you with the top table. Okay, so here is, I'll show it to you at this angle. That shows you some idea of how it looked prong set. <gasps> Look. Oh my word. I'm a bit stuck with exactly. <laughs> what to say because they're just so incredibly different than anything else we've ever had let me just put some beading thread through it for you so you can see how um this would actually hang would oh i think we need to sharpen these Gemma, have you got a pair of mm. oh no sorry I've done it sorry folks won't be a sec So I've just stranded that for you. You could then twist to make the most, look at that. <gasps> what do you think you'd do with them, Gemma? I would be tempted to try and make them into studs, actually. Can you imagine they just look lovely? Would you? I would be tempted to, to do that with them. So how would but you do wins? that? <clears throat> well, I think if you get a bead cap, you know, um, a bead cap you can get yeah you can get them if you were to thread your wire through like you just have and then through the back through the bead cap so that you're sitting in a dish the gemstones almost set in there. okay and then you could if you've used it depends what wire you can get through but then you would have then wire protruding from that that dish there yeah and that could then go through your ear okay so you could definitely do that they would be spectacular wouldn't they thinking even you know if you've got a bride who has got a very detailed neckline so there's not enough for her to have perhaps a necklace on but sewn into the top of a sweetheart mm -hmm. neckline something like that because of course they are the gemstone of valentine this is amazing quality amethyst and um, everybody who's purchased so far has purchased on our website therefore you can see the price already you're confident with that I'm absolutely blown away by the caliber the clarity look at the fire and brilliance there's dazzling from these extraordinary gemstones 
We've got 20 only remaining. They come to you as a pack of three. So you can make a beautiful pendant and some earrings or a bracelet or you can do, oh gosh, I've got people that have just bought, I've got someone who's just bought two of these, well done. This is absolutely ludicrous for the price at $47.95 for all three of them. And the, honestly, the quality, it will blow you away. You've got that 30 day money back guarantee. You're buying with absolute confidence. Congratulations, Maureen and Christine um, and Jenny, you've just confirmed yours there. I've got more of you there confirming. 18 chances remaining now. They are of the highest level of amethyst that we have absolutely ever, ever have. And they are gonna to come to you in a box just like this. They can come to you with a certificate of authenticity as well. And they're so incredibly splendid and elegant. 0800 644 655. Now, when, if you do want to display these, uh, the gemstone does get sort of trapped where it is uh, with the lid on the top. So if you want to display them, even if you want to display them at an angle as well, because some people will be buying these purely to keep and just to collect, even with the drill hole in. We have a whole channel dedicated to loose gemstones here at the uh, Genuine Gemstone Company within the group of Gemporia. Okay, lots more of you there yet to confirm. With that clarity, with that colour, it's all about the cut of these. It's all about the cut. That incredible illusion cut where you can see the facets and so you do have the illusion of it being a little bit more angular as well. Look at the precision of them. They have got the most amazing fire, the tones of different colours of prisms of light beaming through. Cufflinks. Cufflinks. <gasps> Mm, they'd you be can lovely, spend, do you know, you can spend an absolute fortune on plain pewter cufflinks mm. or just plain metal cufflinks to know that you're getting both two. Oh, yeah. I always think it's quite nice as well for men and women to have matching jewellery so mm. the guys could have cufflinks and the lady could have just pendants. Just thinking mm. bride and groom, pendant for the bride, cufflinks for the groom. It's a lovely combination. Really lovely. Really lovely. Now we've got a queue on the phone lines about a minute on the phone lines. We'll answer your order, uh, your, sorry, your call in the order that you've called in. Press your option one, cross your fingers, and I really, really, really hope we're gonna be able to get these to you. Hold the line, you're in with a definite chance. For those of you who are on the phone line, we're, we're actually gonna wait with you. We're gonna wait with you to get answered. So those three carats per gemstone. This is Big news, folks. Ten millimeters in diameter. Let me just um, let me just get one of these up the other way, actually, and just do that once again. Stunning! Wow! 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 Says Jennifer in Cornwall. Absolutely, Jennifer. Wouldn't they make fantastic cufflinks for the bride to give to the groom from L? Just as Gemma said there. Absolutely. Great minds think alike. They are just breathtaking. Look at that stud earring. Look at that blusher, thank you, Ollie. Look at look at that blue eyeshadow. Come on. It's all about the eighties, the eighties. Come on, yeah. Right, favourite food of the eighties, come on. Favourite food of the eighties, what are we thinking? We've got a text in about this, apparently. Stroganoff was very, the thing to have, wasn't it? Uh, here we go. From Jan in Colchester. Mint cracknel candy sticks. Okay, spangles and toffee nuts. Now, toffee nuts, yes. Mint cracknel candy sticks. And kale spangles. I don't think I know those, hun. Do you? Um, spangles, that rings a bell. And so spangles does, does. But the other, toffee nuts, yeah, but not. Yeah. Oh, not here we go. Uh, being German, I still have nightmares about German hairstyles in the 80s. <laughs> Sadly, most of them have still got them. Love the show, you two are so funny. Oh, Sabine, darling. Well, how did, Sabine, let us know, how did 80s hairstyles 
in Germany differ from British hairstyles in the 80s? Oh, we're having a giggle this morning. Palmer violets. Can't stand the things. Um, but the smell of them, I think it's because I used to live very near the Swizzle Sweet Factory and they used to, I swear, they used to, you could smell what they were cooking. And I used to have to drive, um, I was driven past, my mum used to drive me past it on the way to my ballet classes and usually on a day of a ballet exam they were cooking palmer violets. I think that's associated it. Um, Tink, hello darling. My mum named me after the checkout girl in quick save because she thought it was unusual. I've never forgiven her. Oh, Della. Oh, the, you check, you're named after a checkout girl in quick save. Oh, darling. Darling. Gemma, were you named after anybody in particular? I was. I was were named, you? I was named after a man. My Uncle Jeremy. <laughs> you were named after a man. <laughs> oh, I love it. We used to call him Jem for sure. He's Jeremy. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, this from Laura. Hi, Lucy and Gemma. Wow, they're stunning. I would either use the amethyst as a really simple pendant on a long chain. I love the show theme. Thanks, Laura, darling. Thanks for testing. Keep your texts coming in. Because right now, we are about to wow, wow, wow you. This is a kit that is probably one of the most versatile kits we have ever had in the history of Jewelry Maker. Very diverse. Incredibly diverse. Mm -hmm. We're going to go 80s style. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look at your gemstones. Because your gemstones, you've got amethyst nuggets. You've got fuchsia agate, you've got shell in there, you've got pyrite in there, you've got shell pearl in there, you've got an agate cabochon in there, and then you're also getting loads of threads. And we've given Gemma a separate bundle of leather that you can put with this, okay, to give you this amazing look. So, Gemma, talk us through what you've done. Uh, well, it, I. I didn't want to split the kit into groups. I like to work everything together, but I just, it, it just said that there's different lots of jewelry I can make. So I did, I did split it and I used the leather with the bright blues because the tones worked nicely. But it, you know, it's extraordinary to have a really neon necklace and then next to something yeah. really sort of quite demure. So you pink. don't get the neon leather in the kit we're going to do that as an added extra, a leather pack extra, but it's been worked with the kit. That's amazing. And thank you for the text there. It just said this kit, the cut, it screams the 80s. Absolutely does. And you know what? We're doing this theme because the 80s is really, really, really on a trend at the moment. It's massively back in fashion. Massively, massively, massively. So, um, so you really split the kit down. So first of all, then, let's start this side. So you've got the leatherette cord in action yeah. um, with all the silver head pins and then the shell pearl and the pyrite drops. That looks amazing. It's very pretty, that one. I'm going to demo that one to show you Wicked. how to get that look. Cool, cool, cool. Then this piece here on elastic, using the amethyst on one side and then the shell pearl. And look at those amazing spaces. Matching necklace here. That again, you've got the pyrite, the amethyst, the shell pearl. Those shell pearl have gone a long way. They have, haven't they? And then they continue. So you've got so, this section of the kit here. Now, is it just me or would that? It's be amazing value for money for what we're going to do the whole price of the kit for. But we're going to move on. I'm going to move on to the one at the end first, if I may. Because again, this uses just what you're going to get in the actual basic kit. And that's so striking. And matching earrings there as well. Now Gemma then had an additional bundle to work with the kit, um, which we're going to go through in a, uh, in a couple of minutes, and that was the leather pack. So using the contents of the kit, but with the leather, she created these pieces. So a really fabulous bracelet here. Um, again, using the suede going through the leather. That works really nicely. Mm. It's like that wow, very 80s chevron yeah. style. And that's just triangles cut, um, inch squares, and then cut them into triangles. And then I back to back, so I've alternated. So it was going to be reversible. Um, with pink on the inside, but I ended up just doing the blue and... Cool. Blue. Really cool. Oh my word, this is amazing. Well, that one, I know people get a bit scared of the neon 
pack of the leather and you think you can only make very bright bold jewellery but that I just added some ink to that um, I literally just splodged it on and then I've put some gold ink around the edge but just adding a Hang slate. Hang on so that's the bright leather but you've put gold on it? Yeah it's well actually there's a bit of slate um, ink on there but you can do it oh, with any wow. fabric paint you can water down some fabric paint and just kind of um, give it a wash and then it just you know a very loose wash over the top of the leather and you really tone the colours down but you still get the vividness of them so actually I you know I can see myself using this in much more ways now than I ever would have first thought when I saw the neon colours wow because I think I think it's I think the neon is quite intimidating colour I think mm. you've got to have lots of confidence to use it so to know that this was the neon leather mm. that's amazing this was the neon leather Amazing. Now this obviously was as well. Whoa! Eighties, the eighties. Amazing. And then a really fabulous. I love these earrings. Madonna. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're oh yeah. Eighties, aren't they? So let's have a look at the contents of the actual kit. So you're going to get the amethyst chips, the long nuggets, and um, the pyrite rounds, the shell pearl rounds, the shell, fifty meters of silver color beading thread, the suede of the uh, in the pink and of the blue and the leatherette so you're going to get three meters in total a meter of each you're then going to also get oh i yes i have to admit i didn't see that is it a right yeah i didn't actually see that until i put everything away <laughs> a beautiful sort of hang on let me just confirm the sizes of that bear with me a second Sixteen by twelve. That is a genuine charite, which I would use separately, completely. Oh. Anyway, that would be a ring for me or a pendant in wow. its own right. It's beautiful. Yeah, mm. stunning. And a big, gorgeous, faceted uh, cabochon here, and that's a cabochon of faceted agate, and that's forty by thirty millimeters. And then you get a full findings pack of one hundred and eighteen findings, including a meter of chain in there as well. And it's the findings pack with those gorgeous little flower toggles and connectors and those big 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 scoops of the uh, shepherd hooks and your headpins are triangles. little triangles now this kit if you're to buy it all individually remember the leather we're going to do as a separate bundle that you can add to it in just a moment and um, comes to 42 pounds and 45 pence 42 pounds and 45 pence if you buy it all individually fair enough yeah, 42, 45, great, very mm -hmm. competitive. So that's for four strands of genuine gemstones, the leatherette and the suede cords, 50 metres of beading thread, 80 metres of monofilament, full findings pack and two cabochons. Ready? We're not staying there either. We're going even lower. So we're doing more than a £20 saving, but you need to use the code on the top of your screen, YNGC832185, uh, sorry, 95, 2195. Uh, amazing, 21, I'm in the 80s. 21.95. 21.95. So Gemma, what are we going to learn? This one here. Yeah, we're going to do that one. Shall I just show you the back of this as well? Because I like to show it to you all the way around. Well done. Loads of you getting it. I think it's so versatile, this kit, isn't it? So that's gorgeous with the extender chain, pyrite, shell pill, pyrite. And then look. They're fab, aren't they? Because they are used throughout the designs those little uh, head pins and you get 15 of those they're amazing I wanted them to point like little arrows downwards yeah and I love it. them to sit under the gem um, right so what you need to do is you take your um, the larger size of the head pins not mm. the skinny ones because you get the featherweight ones the skinny yeah. ones in there as well 15 of those and go to cut you can cut the actual length of your necklace that you want and then um, you start in the center and work outwards either side and you take, there's so much jewellery on show, we didn't have room to mm -hmm. put everything ready. So then you take your head pin and you... Shall I move that? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, thank you. I just imagine it toppling over if I tried to do that. Um, if you have a look at your cord, it's like um, interwoven. So what you do is you find a section that where the pieces are naturally open and pop your head pin straight through 
and push it down so that the ball just rests onto the cord like that. Okay. Now you can do you can do these all at the same time if you like. So you can take your next one. Now the spacing I use for the centre because when you put it round your neck, it's rounded. So what you need is to have these less spaces towards the centre so that they splay out nicely, and then space them slightly larger around the side. So to do that, I've counted two gaps along. So there's there's my ball head pin, and then I go along one, two and that's where I want to put my next head pin and always making sure that it's on the top of the cord because then your pearls will all hang down nicely mm. okay so that's how you do that put as many on as you like and you take a pearl one of the shell pearls add it on to the head pin onto the head pin and then um, kick that against the pearl to a uh, um, 45 degree angle 90 degree angle, sorry, and then chop off so you've got about a centimetre left. Then we around those pliers, pop them on to the very end and roll. I roll my wrist back until that forms a loop and meets at the bottom. Okay, oh, so look, 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 look. Hi, Lucy and Gemma. I bought the Charite Cabochon on its own for 19.95 and it's absolutely stunning. I'd happily pay 21.95 for it. So what a bargain, Stella in Berkshire. Thank you so much for texting that in. And the Charite, honestly, is just beautiful, beautiful. For an extra two pounds, you can have anything else. Mm. That's right, I saw that Charite um, Cabochon the other day mm. and I was very tempted. The Chara, if the ones that we've had here were a little bit bigger than that, yeah, were not they were. for 19.95. That make a great matching ring. Yeah, it would. Mm. Right. So then, to create the little um, arrows pointing downwards, if you take your head pin, now there's the solder. The head pin is soldered, um, so the length of it there is soldered onto a little triangle. Um, so you just you need to be a bit careful, but it's um, and you may end up breaking one or two. Um, but mainly they take this process. So I'm going to hold the very tip of my triangle because I want my point to face downwards. I'm going to bend the head pin up like so, so it's pointing downwards, and then I'm just going to squeeze the whole thing like that. And then I've got a little um, arrow pointing downwards then. Thread on my pyrite, and then again bend the wire over at a 90 degree angle. Trim it to about a centimetre, make a loop on the top, and then I've done that for each of my dangles from each of my pearl dangles from the cord, and just thread, hook it into place, and close it up. And you can do as many or as few of those as you like. You get 15 head pins, so you can have 15, 15 like that if you if you like. And that's as simple as that. And it was so effective. Yeah. They look amazing. And also, all you've done to get sort of longer drops is put the two shell pearls on. Yeah. And then do it. That's or three it. in the centre. Three at the centre, were, and then two either side, and then just one. So, yeah. Just remember to make sure the spacing and make sure all your head pins are sort of along the same row because then it, they'll all sit straight instead of higgledy piggledy. Gorgeous. Thank okay. you so much. So we've still got a few of that kit remaining and it is amazing. So this is born in the 80s, the 80s. Uh, this is the leather collection that we've got coming up here. Uh, Dion's just going to get it. Any excuse to get on the telly? No. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, no. What the leather on. So just to remind you again, Gemma, for those people just tuning in, mm -hmm. this leather bundle could be intimidating for its colour. Yes. The quality is incredibly, incredibly soft. I think it's the best quality leather I've ever, ever, ever come across in any capacity ever. It is gorgeous. It's like soft leather gloves. It's yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. But more substantial. You know, thicker. Yeah. So, um, you've got the blue, and the yellow, and the pink. But I think what's really inspiring is the fact that Gemma has made this necklace from those colours. Mm. And so once again, how did you do it? Gemma? If you turn, if you if you turn that one in the reverse, you can actually see the colour better. You might see how it's okay. How it's changed. So that one's got that side's got more gold on it. So um, I've used just an alcohol ink, but you can use any watered down fabric paint. 
So any watered down paint that you've got at home that you can use on fabrics, water wow. it down and just put a really thin wash over your leather and let it dry. And that, what it does is because the leather's textured, it just takes it in heavier in some textures than others. And then you can even do a dry brush effect over the top. So you just paint dry over the top and it just picks out the texture. You can really tone the colours down like that. That's amazing. I think that's really, really, really appealing. And then, of course, you can use it in these amazing neon tones. So, uh, XRGC26, we are going to do an amazing offer on this today. We are, um, the usual price of it is £44.85, pence, which is exceptionally good for this calibre of leather. Mm. Exceptionally good. We're going to go to the lowest ever price for today. £34.95, so it's £10 a piece, which is, I've only ever been able to see it, if you were to buy scrap, mm. maybe you'd be able to buy around that sort of price. This is not scrap, it's beautiful, beautiful quality, £29.95, 0800 6 Margaret and Elizabeth, Alan, uh, sorry, Alison and Georgina. The fact that that is made also from this neon, I think, is really, really, really amazing. They are amazingly phenomenal colours, and we have got a little bit of a queue on the phone lines. Don't worry, we know you're there. Usually forty-four pounds and eighty-five pence, twenty-nine ninety-five today. But it's literally either until stocks last or until. Oh, is that all? Okay, we're really limited in stock now. I've got less than 50 opportunities on this one now. So if there's any left at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, it will be 44 pounds and 85 pence to buy it all individually. 44 pounds and 85 pence. If you can use that code before nine o'clock tomorrow morning, if there's any stock left, then XRGC26 gives you a fantastic saving at just 29.95 for all of them. That's amazing. And talking about amazing, we're going to go over for the final time today to the Wall of Fame. Swing your pants. Oh yeah. Live and kicking, swing your pants. Yeah. So you you missed out. <laughs> Just me and Ollie on that one. I remember that one. You do remember yeah, that. Yeah, in fact we and still do that one. Hang on. What's it? Whack a day, whack a day, whack a day. Yeah, look at the camera and say bleh. What was it called? Mallet's mallet. Mallet's mallet. Mallet. Mallet, mallet. Yeah. <laughs> Grot bags. Oh yeah. That was uh, she was off. Um, she was quite scary. Yeah. She was. Ollie's brother was in grot bags. Was in grot bags. Was that a show? Yeah. Or was she just. She a was bad in. Um, oh, Wizbit. Okay, we're just going to do names and numbers, folks, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to show the, all five of them. Here we go. So this is from Tanya in Birmingham. That is beautiful, Tanya. And you are number 485. Stunning work. Well done. Oh, sorry. And I've got another beautiful piece, uh, 483, and it's by Jan in Castleford. Hi, Jan. A fairy tale <gasps> tiara. It oh. is like um, dandelion heads, isn't it? So beautiful. That's absolutely exquisite well done hun 483 this is ah oh, 486 this is lovely from julie in blackpool hello julie darling how are you 486 how are you hun Shella. she's put with musical notes either side of it oh, sorry love. this is number 484 sorry. and it's from mm. bryony e. gibson and it's the first attempt at a clay flower that, that is amazing, is amazing. I didn't, I didn't realise they were. I thought, oh, I've got two flowers. Oh. One's clay. Gorgeous. That's, that's incredible. It is. Wow. Well and then done. 487. Oh, very nice. This is so St. Ives. Yeah. And very Debbie Balford. Very Debbie Balford. Jill, this is stunning. Beautiful. <gasps> really gorgeous. And you are 487, right? Quick break, folks, when we come back from the break. 
Oh my goodness, prepared to be made. We had price comparisons yesterday on the show and for the silver version we had people saying it was working out the equivalent of about £200 to get this anywhere else with the price comparisons people were sending in. That is amazing, that and so much more. It's all about the 80s today. We'll see you on the other side of this. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. Join guest designer Natalia Coleman for the introduction to leather DVD. Natalia will guide you through new techniques including how to create rings, cufflinks, earrings and necklaces. You will also learn how to use the essential tools you need to work with leather along with lots of helpful hints and tips. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Tune into The Late Show on Sunday the 24th of August for our Myths and Legends show. Join presenter Ali and guest designer Mark as they focus on the history of gemstones and tell some of the legendary stories that surround some of the world's most precious gems. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Join the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties, and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Aya. Right, these are 
mega wow 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 the nine carat yellow gold plated nine carat yellow gold so you get all the look of nine carat yellow gold without the price tag now you're going to get 20 types of charms you're going to get 200 in total now we had a few texts in yesterday saying people had found incredibly similar ones for 4.95 for five on website which works out i think we can say between friends that's a pound a piece isn't it so this would be the equivalent of 200 pounds that's bonkers we'll have a look have a oh they're just, wow. I've got some in context here made into the jewellery. So did anyone ever see the Lily Allen range of jewellery that we launched on Gems TV a few years ago? We worked in conjunction with her to uh, launch her range. A very similar feel to some of these. And then this gorgeous collection, um, this gorgeous piece here. Now all of these charms have got two holes in, which means they're incredibly versatile. Look at these earrings. Now that's hardly using any, but it's giving a real pizzazz. So you're going to get 200 big, 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 big gold weights spread across um, all of them here because it's nine carat yellow gold plate. You're not looking. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, it is. I thought it said 10 carat at the bottom, but it was 10 times. Sorry, yeah. Uh, you're getting 20 different ones. You're getting 10 of each. So I'll show you all of them. Now they both, they all have texture the same on both sides. So there's no right or wrong to these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Good size of these. Now this is gonna sell out. It will absolutely be a sellout. I can't imagine anywhere else that you could get this offer. Even if you were to sell these on at 10, for 4.95, give you quids in. So the places are doing five for 4.95. If you want us to do ten for 4.95, you're still being profit. Oh yeah, because you're getting two hundred. How fabulous are they? Okay, you're then going to get these hearts. That's a bit like the wrapper on those 80s after dinner chocolates, aren't they? <laughs> now this is really fab because I think, for me, this has got a little bit of the old silver fern element going on. Um, you've got the round ones here, they're all double drilled. These are adorable because they've got like little flowers and stars on them. Pretty, aren't they? These have all got stars on. They're going really quickly, folks. Got somebody who just bought three packs of these. Go for it. They're adorable. Got a quite um, very Italian looking, aren't they? Very Italian chic gold. Hi, Pat. How are you, darling? How's Menorca this morning? Is it warmer than here? Eight degrees this morning when I was driving to work. Eight degrees, Pat. Okay, let's move on to these ones here. Beautiful texture. Beautiful texture. Gemma, you are looking at these, and I can tell already you're designing. What is Gemma Crow thinking she'd do with these? I, I think, you know the red bundle we had earlier? Yeah. Just thinking about um, sort of a bobble style necklace with just those interspersed, just to catch the light. Yeah, amazing. Nice. And they are going to really capture the light because of the way they've been textured. Mm. So on this one here, you've got all this variety of different circles. We've got slight cues forming on the phone lines, folks. Obviously, these are huge. These are going to sell out, so they'll be hugely in demand. You're answered in the order that you call in and press your option one. If you have got them in your basket on the website, I urge you to check out now. And then you've got the big chunky squares on those. Again, the texture. Three more designs to show to you. Another square here. Just the way they move in the light, they're going to really be really, really reflective. They're lovely. And then swirl. And then the final ones. I think these are really adorable. Right. Look, 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 look at the speed that they're going. And we've got cues on the phone line, so they're not even going as quickly as demand is. Meaning they would go, yeah, thanks, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Deanna's like, yeah, I know what you're trying to say, but yeah. 
Yeah. So, right, 36 chances left, 35 chances left. These are going to be a sellout. You're looking here at nine carat yellow gold plated, genuine copper, 20 types, 10 of each, 200 in total. Claire, Pat, lots of anonymous people there. Jonah, Margaret, Christine, Susan, Karen, Eric, Frida, Marion, Jenny, Wilma, Christine, Lillian, Shelley, Christina, Sylvia, Judith, Carol, Angela, Karen, Anna, Angela. Um, Shirley, good luck to all of you there who haven't yet called in. Now, don't forget, of course, you can use PayPal as well. You can use Visa and MasterCard. You can use PayPal. Give us a call, at free phone number at the bottom of your screen, taking advantage of only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. What's happened to my mic? 49.95 for all 200 of them. Nine carat yellow gold on every single one. Free phone number and that uh, free phone number 0800 the nine carat yellow gold plated on 200. I think my three favorites, these ones, because these, somebody texted in yesterday and suggested using these, because we had them in the silver color yesterday. Well, there's 925 sterling silver. These are nine carat yellow gold. Um, angel wings. Gorgeous as angel wings. Or. Mustache. <laughs> Don't get too close on that, thank you. And uh, which, oh, I've been asked to choose my favorites. My hearts are amazing. Mm, I can't choose just one more. I love all of them. I'm really loving this swirls. It's like a filigree look on these. Have you got a favourite, Gemma? Mm, I quite like the marquise with the stars on. The marquise with the, the stars. The marquise shape, you know, the... Like little surfboards. Yeah, yeah they're cute, aren't they? Because yeah, you can use like them those. as connectors as well, can't you? Because they're double drilled. I'm wondering if you could bend them slightly to form at the top of a ring. Shall I pass one over to you? You could have a go. We could have a go, couldn't we? I think they're quite work hardened, so it might take a bit of time. Let's have a look. No, they're nice and soft. They're fine. You'll be able to bend that? Yeah. She's saying, um, Gemma's saying, yes, she can. Can you not hear us? Oh, because we're just having like, an idea. Um, Gemma's just having a little play here to see if she can manipulate that to be a ring. And the answer is yes. Done. Done it? Yeah. Oh, look. Gemma's just, you know, making a ring. Um, our graphics are stalled. What's happened, Dion? Our graphics aren't working. Are they sold out? Oh, we don't know. I'm really sorry, folks. We don't know. Our system has just frozen, so um, we don't know if they sold out or not. We're just going to wait to find out for you. Um, in the meantime, Gemma is making a ring, like you do, in a few seconds. We're actually going to do the connoisseur collection next anyway. And these do not have drill holes. I think these are going to be the most popular of all of them. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what Gemma's done with those. We'll address that in just a moment. Okay. This is the final time that I'm addressing the Connoisseur collection with you today. I think Ali might have some this evening. I'm not quite sure. Um, let me just... <gasps> They're amazing! It'd be more amazing if we didn't have a little bit of fluff on it just there, but... Hang on. There we go. Right, I've just given it a bit of a clean. <gasps> okay, be prepared to be beyond wowed. Yeah, that one had a little speckle on it, but these are eye clean, so I think that might be like a little spot of dust on there. Mmm. Mm. Oh, these are amazing. Okay, um, how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. Right, 
the most wow factor out of all of them so far, in my opinion. These are the ones that I am desperate for. I'm blatantly not going to get them. Um, got some little bits of fluff on them. Come on. There you go. Right. Mm. Things like this, we are absolutely denied the privilege of buying these as staff because it is such low stock, such limited stock. Oh my word. I would love to make my husband a pair of cufflinks with these. <gasps> Look at your clarity alongside the depth of colour on that and the profile, the precision of this cut. These are not drilled. These are not drilled, these ones, folks. They are purely ready to be set in the most... Don't you think that is a prong setting? Does that or does that not look like something out of James Bond? Ding, 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 yeah, I do. I, I really, I should actually have gloves on to hold this. I, I actually really, really should. They are of a extraordinarily prestigious quality. Look, look at the fire. Mm. The golden fire and brilliance. Now, I'm very aware that our resident gemologist, Hannah Oxbury, is currently watching me present these, and she is so incredibly knowledgeable about gemstones, and whilst also eating chocolate cake. Um, it's good, isn't it, that chocolate cake? Yeah. Um, and if I can show to you, look at that fire. That is, Hannah's looking very impressed with these the cla this is the best smoky quartz we have ever categorically 100 percent ever 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 had on the channel and sharon on the experience as well is nodding away with me here as well very regular viewer she knows her gemstone she's used to the quality that we're seeing in fact all my ladies now in the experience and in fact the gentleman no he's got his head down um but look at those Look at that, right. So I've shown you from that profile. I'm now gonna turn it the other way so you can see the actual Kool-Aid, the base of the cut of this gemstone. It is so impressive. The facets on it are out of this world. <gasps> so once again, these have not got a drill hole in. Some of them have because we've wanted to give you the opportunity as beaders, perhaps if you're not confident with wire or setting gemstones. Look, <gasps> oh, look at these. Look, 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 look. They're big. They're really big. You've got the most beautiful cognac and coffee and golden tones, literally dazzling around every single facet. Now, if I show you it from that angle also, look at, oh. Now, excuse the graphics just for a moment. We're just reloading these in um, just because we had a technical fault on the previous one and we just want to check quantities. So just bear with us a second. Look at those. Okay, we're able, we're able to start this for you. 27 carrots over three gemstones. This is so impressive. A nine carrot solitaire a premium premium cut where you can see very clearly every facet so that one there that is not an inclusion that is a little bit of dust that's got on it there okay these are for me they are eye clean they're absolutely eye clean quartz with a clarity and a colour and a cut that is breathtaking. Dion, what's your price on these, hun? Are you at, oh, okay, I don't actually understand this because we are gonna go to the most breathtaking while wow, they're gonna sell out price within seconds and I would highly, 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 highly recommend you get these valued. Now, if you want to set them into a piece of jewellery before you do so, great, but you could actually just get these valued on the merit of the gemstone. The, I don't believe for one second, these do not need to be set into jewellery in order to be valued because the merit, the quality of them is explicit. You are looking at the deepest brandy, rich whiskey, cognac tones. And the finest, this is a joy to present. And at 47.95 for all 
three it is beyond breathtaking they are this this would not look out of place in one of the most extraordinary high-end boutiques on the planet would it would it look 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 at that quartz <gasps> look at this Look, can you imagine how you are going to wear this, how you're going to use it, how it's going to dance around. Now, it might be that you would like to find a jeweler local to you that will set it into gold for you because I think, it. I mean, this is a calibre of gemstone that I would expect to see on our sister channels of Gems TV or Rocks TV set into 18 karat gold. It is of that standard of smoky quartz. It is of that clarity. It is of that colour. It is of that cut. It is of that carrot weight that puts this in the most supreme collection. That is a cut that will have taken lapidarists days. Days, 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 days. Five chances. That's all we've got left. Now I've got people with it in their baskets. Obviously we'll repeat the show as well, so if car payments haven't gone through, if we've got people with it waiting in their baskets, if we're not quite sure who they've gone to. Um, if you, you're gonna get three of these, folks. You're gonna get three, you're gonna get all three. They dazzle, they are beyond delightful, they are breathtaking, they are the connoisseur collection. They, we've never had anything like this before. I am absolutely gutted um, that they will be a seller. I would have had those within an instant. I would have absolutely made my husband a pair of cufflinks and perhaps perhaps even set it into a tie pin as well um someone's just said imagine that set into um rose gold or indian gold oh joanna that that's that's it's aspirational isn't it they are aspirational now we've got more people wanting them than we have stock available on those now they will be a sellout for the final time of the connoisseur collection today mm beautiful okay where should we go to next then lovely oh now then we're gonna go to Gemma excuse me while I just have a okay there is an X missing from the graphics and I've just stuck myself to the seat mm -hmm. I'm finding my husband's gardening jeans particularly comfortable today they're a little bit short for you though they are a bit short for me because I've pulled them up to be Simon Cowell, eat your heart out. <laughs> I've even got moccasins on. All right, let's move on. Thank you kindly. But jeans were shorter in the 80s. Yeah, it they were. It was intentional, Gemma. Yeah, they were. Bottle tops on your shoes. Amazing. Right. <gasps> Gemma has made a ring. Gemma has made a ring. Well, look at this. This is amazing. It's nice, isn't it? Very simple. I'm tempted to get myself some now. That would cost. So we worked out... How much for the copper? Probably for that amount of copper, what, about 3p? If that, probably not 2p. even that. 2p, so that cost 26p to make. 26 pence to make it. Cost 26p. And if you wanted to, to, if you wanted to use, I mean you could use your plated wire, but if you did want to use the copper and then patina it, if you were to use your file and scratch off the Cut, you know the high points yeah. of the gold plating and then patina then you could patina and it would take on the copper amazing amazing right what we're going to look at here now is the disc cutter what is a disc cutter it's it's a die it's a it's a set of dies um, are you wanting to use these yes ones? i'm going to use okay those. we are going to desperately need um have we got another set of these that are open is cassie around because these are absolutely covered in oil the reason being is because they are shipped over. If we were to fly them over, they probably wouldn't need as much oil on them. Um, but it, because we've shipped these over, they have to be protected from the elements. If we were to fly them over, they wouldn't need as much oil on them, and also um, your costs would be a lot, 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 lot higher. Because we ship them, takes longer to get here. We can keep the costs right, 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 right down. So, um, Gemma, I don't think we're going to be able to demo with these because they're absolutely coated in oil. It's a sh I did have some in the studio the other week. Oh, where have they gone? Um, been unless we've got a lot of tissue here or anything. Uh -huh. Have you got them? Yeah, oh, I've got some tissue, tissue though. Okay, keep right. Right, oh. it's a set of um, is it seven or six dies? Yeah. There are six there. I'll do them. I'll limit limit the damage. Let me let me do it. Are you sure? Yeah, because it's then it's only me that has to touch it. So you got I don't ten, know. 
seven of these, seven. Now this is intentional, don't think that this is a fault when they come to you. Yours, this is why we wanted to show you on air, they will be absolutely coated in oil. And all you need to do is when you get them home is just get a bit of kitchen paper or something or rinse them off with some lukewarm water because you do want to keep them slightly oiled there ideally because it is a metal and that's how you're going to protect it. So um, this is absolutely intentional, this is not a fault with your product. Okay. So the whole idea is that you are able to then cut your metal in disc shapes basically because yeah. it is a disc cutter. Oh, there's seven, seven sizes here. Yeah, seven sizes, that's it. And they go right from a, a really nice small one, um, which is the small one is actually nice for creating hollows. So you can create your own washers in effect. Great, yeah, um, so with, great for steampunk. Yeah, with sheet metal. And you'll see when I'm holding it, see these pegs come in, come through. So don't, when you pick it out, they um, pick out the pack, they will all sort of drop through the middle. Don't worry, just, I always put them to the side anyway and only use what I want um, at any one time. So you can see through the side here, you've got all the holes on the top with the, with the markings of the measurements, so yep. the sizes in inches. Um, and then you've got um, a slit that, that runs all the way around. If I turn it, you can see there's a slit in there. What you do is you take your sheet metal, there's any, any sheet metal that, you, that you've got, this is our sheet metal that we sell at the moment, you pop it in and you can sort of line it up with the hole that you want to punch out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the biggest one. And then you take the appropriate die and you, uh, the appropriate cutter, and you use the rounded side up. You don't want to hammer the other side because the other side is going to cut. Hold it down firmly. And I'm using an old hammer from the shed. And whack. And you see that punch through. And out the other end. Is there it is. Perfect disc. How perfect is that? And then you can stamp it and you can literally do whatever you want to it. Yeah. So you've got seven styles here. Then you can get a punch, you can make your own charms that yeah. personalises, you can put your own branding on there. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. They're a fantastic um, tool. How much do you expect this to be? If you price compared anywhere else, you're missing an X by the way out of the graphic. So it's I O G X45. We've had people texting in saying that we are the most price competitive on the market for a disc cutter. Yes. <laughs> in a word. Yes. yes. That's right. 19.95. And it's not just the price of the cutter because they're so heavy. It usually costs a lot of money to post as well. That's so, such a good point. So you know, you're saving a lot on your postage. 2.95 for all of your posting packaging all day. Hi, my husband uses to make a washer for our vintage car. He was very impressed with the quality. Love the show from Tracy. Tracy, thank you in County London area there. Great idea. Great idea. Yeah, you yeah. can. Yeah, because there are lots of multi uses on that. Mm -hmm. um, fab. So, tips on that one. Do you think you need to re oil it before you put it away? Um, no, I think, you, I mean, you're going to keep a layer of oil on there anyway because you can't get right inside mm -hmm. and, and you may want to add oil later on but I don't think you'll need to ever really. So basically just it. wipe it off with some tissue. Yeah I and mean, if you're going to store it in a damp environment like in an outdoor shed or something like that then I would keep it oiled but indoors it should be fine. Great, fab, and we've got some that are still available at 19.95, but I think that's going to be a sellout today. Amazing. Okay, we've got loads of bargains, we've only got 20 minutes left, so let's get out over here. Hope you're enjoying our 80s show today, where we're talking about the 80s. Where did I put that ring? I'll get it in a minute. Uh, right, let's do a gorgeous golden tone. All right, Gemma. All right. Yeah. Sorry. You have to hammer the peg right through to get the die out. You have to hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer the peg right through in order to get the die cutter out. out yeah, and that's standard. And that's, that's standard. Is standard. Thank you. <laughs> now, beautiful, really beautiful golden tones would look great with your challenge today, actually, Gemma. Oh, it would. Now, one of our fabulous Sunday Experience guests have actually got this collection. Apparently, this is the yellow Chalcedony, and they are irregular shaped plain drops. This is called daffodils. Isn't that adorable? Oh, 800, 644, 655. This is yellow 
chalcedony. A very, 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 interestingly enough, it's a very spiritual gemstone, and you have got a gem, uh, a show this evening with Mark and Ali, where they will be talking a lot about legends and lore and myth and mysticism around gemstones. And I'm sure that undoubtedly will cross into the realms of crystal healing as well. NP GC39. Just making little, um, beautiful, tinky little flowers would be adorable, wouldn't it? To make, funnily enough, daffodils. I know, I know. Genius, I am genius. So, free phone number for you. One post and packaging price for all of your purchases. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon? Who's Gordon? Gordon the Gopher. Gordon the Gopher, eight ninety five. Gordon the Goat, Philip Schofield in the broom cupboard. Oh, here's my heartthrob. Eight pounds and ninety five pence. He's still a heartthrob, isn't he? And mm. PGC three nine. Let's talk about eighties crushes for the final twenty minutes. Who did you have a crush on in the eighties? Mine was Jason Donovan and Philip Schofield and Craig McLaughlin for a time. Dolph Pardon? Dolph Lundgren. I had a crush on. Who was that? He played He Man in the film, and he was the bad guy in Rocky Five. I know because I have both the films. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Oh, 800, 644, 655, more than Judith and Joan, Susan and Mundy, Lisa and Melody, Lorna. Who was your 80s crush, Ollie? I know, you'd have had a crush though. Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue, but she wore dungarees all the time and Ollie didn't like that. Who was your 80s crush, Hannah? Philip Schofield. Philip Schofield for me too. Me too. And Joey from New Kids on the Block. I was going to say a bit of New Kids on the Block. Joey yeah. from New Kids on the Block. Yeah, I was a bit Joey kind of thing. Yeah. 0800 644 655. Pardon? Yours was what? Cute. Screech from Save by the Bell. I do have a Bayside Tigers hoodie. NPGC39, have you seen my Bayside Tigers hoodie? No, my sister's got a hoodie. Your, sis your sister's got one, yeah. Uh, Kate Bush from Sean. Oh, Bush, come on, Bush, come on, Bush. Uh, <laughs> Andrew McCarthy, so cute. Who is Andrew McCarthy? McCarthy, not McCartney, darling. Dion thought she was being really clever. She went, Paul McCartney's brother. Um, Liam, darling. Okay. <laughs> Something to be revealed for you. Um, okay, so we've got Rick Astley is also on the radar. Oh, what was he called? The, um, the other guy, One Hit Wonder from the 80s. Chesney. Chesney Hawks. Was he slightly into the 90s, though? Yeah, just about. When I was at university, he did a concert that you could go to for three pounds. I went to a fireworks thing and he was there for free. <laughs> you went to a fireworks thing and he was there for free. <laughs> Good old Chesney. Yeah. Uh, 0800 655 to grab these final ones. Hannah Oxbury, crush of the 80s. Um, Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. Uh, uh, Jason Donovan. Jason Donovan. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, right, 8.95, we're gonna move on from those. And we're gonna, oh, no, I was hoping you'd say that we're gonna do these. They're absolutely spectacular. Please tell me these are the eye of the tiger. Doom, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I never knew that. Did you know that Rocky was filmed, uh, sorry, directed and written by Sylvester Stallone? Well, I didn't know that. All of the Rocky film. Well, I didn't know that. Eye of the Tiger. It's the hell of a fight. Oh, yeah. Right, VSGC98. Ghostbusters. Superman. I remember going to, you see, Port Maddock again, risen its uh, little head, doesn't it? Port Maddock going on a caravan holiday on a wet day, I went to go and watch Superman at the uh, cinema. Living the dream, right around the corner from Quick Save. 0800 644 655 again, free phone number. Add these onto your order, they're incredibly impressive. You've got puffy ovals here measuring 22 by 16 millimeters each. We've got the <laughs> drums at 9 by 8, and the faceted 4 mil rounds of dinky, dinky, dinky 4 millimeter. But they're incredibly impressive. Now, these are all 
totally and utterly natural. The sensational quality. Going to get all three. I think you'd be hard pushed to find the drums for this price. I honestly do. Twelve ninety-five for the fasted rounds and the drums and the ovals. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. I have the tiger. Amazing. Thank you, team. They're singing all the 80s songs to me now down my ear. That's lovely. Thank you, darling. Thanks. 0800 644 655. Jeanette and Nicola, Jenny and Trisha, Deborah and Nigel and Heather. And I've got lots of you. I haven't got the phone. Uh, anyone who's calling in on the phones haven't got your names yet. Um, free phone number for you. It's £12.95 and pence for all three. Don't forget you can keep adding to your order for only one post and packaging price. You can have a great afternoon this afternoon as well with Hannah Oxbury and the very lovely Kirsty Field that we don't get to see. Um, Vicky. Field rather, Kirsty Field was one of our designers. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting all the names mixed up. Twelve ninety five on these. Amazing, amazing. Okay, we are now going to go over. Have we had a fabulous day, everybody? Yes, yes we have. Yes, we have. Loving it. Now. I am going to look a little bit out of place because none of them have dressed in 80s. So I could, you know, release the scrunchy ponytail, but I'd still be left with the blue eyeshadow. So I'm just going to rock it, you know, keep it going. Let's go and do me a little bit of Big Brother moment. So, Gemma, that's amazing. Thank you. Oh my word. This is Gemma, everybody. Gemma, where have you travelled from today? York. York. I love York. So what time did you have to leave this morning? Um, we were setting off about four o'clock this morning, so it's been quite a long day. And I've travelled with my friend, Beth, who's also a little bit further down the line. So we've come together. Amazing. You started your day at stupid o'clock in the morning and you've made the most beautiful jewelry. So you've really been drawn towards that incredible deep rich of the reds. This is the lady in red. So 14.95, it was two strands of the graduated rounds and two strands of the faceted rounds of the smaller as well. It looked, they look like rubies. Yeah, they do actually. I thought they were rubies to start off with, but obviously they're not. They're very, dis you know, sort of misleading, but absolutely beautiful gem, gorgeous to work with. And you've got so much to uh, <laughs> sort of do with it. It's sort of a bit of a goodie bag, really. Amazing. So you've done earrings, hair comb, beautiful pendant bracelet another stunning necklace and the earrings your jewelry is gorgeous how long have you been making for not very long a few months um but i just do it sort of as a hobby really and uh, my friend beth she got me into it and uh, we sort of meet up a couple of times in the week and just uh, have a little play absolutely perfect but it's we, not just brilliant we all, we all we both use jane products and i love it oh we love you <laughs> we love you gorgeous jewelry thank you for being here now richard <laughs> what? Have you enjoyed your day, Richard? Yeah, it's been good. It has. Fabulous. I'm glad about that. Have you enjoyed the 80s theme? Mm, not really. OK. Well, let's move on to the jewellery then, hon. Uh, so, how long have you been making jewellery? Today. Are you actually serious? You've yeah. never made any jewellery until not today? No. Sharon, how have you managed to get through life without him making jewellery until today? You just haven't had he, to badger him. He just tells him. me to go upstairs and watch JM while he watches whatever he <laughs> does. Like but upstairs. you were dragged here today. Now, oh my goodness, not only is this your first time making jewellery, and it is really lovely, really lovely, but you have been working with emeralds for the first time that you've ever made jewellery. How have you found it? Kind of really easy. Yeah. And do you know, well, some of the world's most influential jewellery makers are all gents as well. So do you think we've perhaps introduced you today to potentially pursuing this as a hobby or having a dabble maybe? Maybe a dabble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So emeralds, I mean, they're organic emeralds. And I know you've got a passion for gemstones anyway. Yeah. So emeralds, is there a particular reason you were drawn to these? Or do you think it was the colour or? No, I just liked it. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> really lovely. Well, thank you for being here, Richard, along with Sharon now, Sharon. <laughs> I'll, if I just pop in here for a moment, oh, thanks, Beverly. Who is this? Who handbags this? That's mine. It's got a bag channel. Oh right. Do you know? Because I, I was about to say, I'm having that. <laughs> I love it. It's taken me twelve years to get one. It's all right. It's taken me 12 seconds to nick it. Right then, um, Sharon, tell me about the jewelry that you've made today. These are amazing. I've never made any of them in my life. Anna showed me this morning. So you've literally you've never made any. Not fat, no, none of them. Oh wow. Ever. 
Wow. I just make earrings like Pat Butcher. You make, earrings you make earrings like Pat Butcher. Sharon, I love you. You're <laughs> hilarious. Um, so do you think maybe now you've got a new string to your bow and you'll venture down that route? Because yeah. th it's really simple when you get started on hair combs, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Your colour combinations are stunning. So the antique bronze, is that something that you'd usually venture towards? Yeah, and sterling silver as well. Gorgeous. Lovely. Well, thank you so much for being here. How long have you been making? About six months. Well, fab. Amazing. Well, that should be inspirational for all of you out there. Now, I'm going to speak to a lady that basically she's turned into part of the furniture. We love you, darling. We love you. This necklace you are wearing you. is breathtaking. But tell us about the jewellery that you've been making today, Beth. Um, I've got the pink quartz out. Um, I had to go oh. at Tiara, but Le that will be all revealed. He's wearing it. We didn't want. He did try to nick it earlier. Come on, Liam. He did try to nick it earlier. <laughs> King Liam. King Liam, hey, they won't give me a crown. I've got to have these. <laughs> they won't give you a crown, so you have to have that. So Ali calls me King Liam. So until I get a crown, I'm still. Ali this. calls you King Liam. Does she? Yeah. That surprises me. Well, <laughs> you look very pretty. He does, doesn't he? Like doesn't he does, just? Yeah, yeah. Right then, lovely. I want to see your back charm. That's for <gasps> Dion, because she's. Oh, girl. Dion, look. Can you hear her? <laughs> <laughs> she says she on. loves She's a you. Girl. She is. She loves them. Look. She's so excited. So that's they're absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Hannah. I love your use of all that. I love those bindings that yeah, you've chosen so I want to use. Yeah, so to show me how to do the uh, the necklace that she did. Oh, I could only okay. get the silver. I couldn't get the gold. Okay, I'm sure so I'm that can be arranged. I'm going to ask her to put it on Facebook for me. So I'm can, sure if you ask so nicely. So I can do, do something. She'll have to try and sort of rummage through her bits and pieces. But I'll move on now to another piece of the furniture. And this is Chris, everybody. Chris, let's see how it's been. How long since we last saw you? Um, about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago. Chris, I love it. So tell us about the collection that you were drawn to. So the three strands of the Chalcedony. Um, this is a real challenge to me because I've never really um, just taken a few beads and sat with them and worked on them. Three strands. It was hard. It was a challenge, it but was a my challenge. word. I mean, Chris has been attending a lot of our workshops, and it goes to show. Yeah, this bridal I did recently, and um, this is uh, something that I saw um, Gemma do previously, and that is something I've just started doing. Amazing. So you've actually. Spiking weave. Vic wow. Viking weave on the wire. You've made that Chalcedony three strand pack. Yeah goes such a long way and your jewellery looks really expensive. Left. I've got loads left, I've got about one and a half strands left. It's only 8 95 yeah. for all it's three amazing. strands. amazing, I couldn't believe when I saw the price. Yeah, yeah. 8 95 for Absolutely. the three strands. Yeah. So I think that might be a must have bundle and they've all yeah. been joined today by the ridiculous talent that is the Osborne. Yeah, hello. hello darling. Hello. Hello. Sunshine yellow yes. Hannah. So have you all had a very very lovely day today? Really Fabulous, thank you so much for being here. I've got a couple more bargains that I can squeeze in before the end of the show. So I'm going to scoot over there whilst all these fabulous people get sorted. Right, in the 80s, the 80s. Um, I'm not saying you're from the 80s, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry. Right. Come on. Come on, then. Right, which one should we do? Which one, sorry, darling? Oh, now then, this is what Sharon had used. You know those gorgeous hair combs that we saw? This is what she'd used. They're amazing. They're very sort of sultry. They're medium. I think these would look so incredible with Labradorite. That's the immediate one. Hello. Ben's just suddenly arrived in a leather jacket with an 80s flair. Ooh, really? that is it. I suppose. But he has gotten rid of his side ponytail, which is quite disappointing. Blackadder. This is called black adder. I love it. So you're looking here at black crackled quartz. We don't often have black, do we? I don't think I've ever seen black crackled quartz before. I do think that with Labradorite would look so moody and stormy and a bit sexy and it's yeah, all with some hematite. Are we going to get some more hematite in soon? Yeah. Good, good, good. We are. WD, GC, 
seven one i totally know what you mean ollie ollie was just saying for him he looks at this and it's almost like the opposite vision of a rutilated quartz because with the rutilated quartz you have the white with the inclusions of the black but this has got yeah no i, I can see what you mean well then joan and stephen and julie and nancy another julie there as well for both of these strands, and they're both 10 millimetres in the diameter, you can see you've got these gorgeous little hearts, or trillion cuts, but I think you can get away with using this as a heart shape. And then there's little puffy rounds as well, puffy circles as well, puffy coins. Stunning colours, and at 11.95, I think they're amazing. They've gone through a dyeing process. They've been also been taken to an extra, extraordinarily high heat in order to make them um, really, really that sort of crackle quality that the gems, the colour of the dye can then seep into and absorb and show off all those amazing inclusions. They are beautiful and they're really, really different and they're only 11 95 so they're beautiful, they're different, they're affordable. Go for it on 0800 655. Oh yeah, they'd look amazing with that red bundle, wouldn't they? What was that, sorry? Oh, yes! I certainly can. Oh, now I haven't got it on the desk, but this is an extraordinary offer today that we don't really want Hannah Oxbury to see because she'll be, she's from our management team and we have destroyed the price of a findings pack and a bead scoop. Sorry about that, Hannah, darling. Um, but hey, everyone's getting a bargain. Uh, it was our early bird. We've got a few of these remaining and you've got the meter of chain in there. 118 findings in total and a bead scoop is a cracking way to get yourself started with gemstones for all of you out there who perhaps maybe you're making that transition maybe you've been making jewelry for a while and you've been using wooden beads and some plastic beads if you want to try out gemstones see what it's going to be like a bead scoop's a great way to do it isn't it Gemma it is it is and somebody described it the other day as a challenge a challenge kit so they literally get their all that and you make what you whatever you can make and it is we should probably do that for a guest designer one day shouldn't we you've done that before haven't you? yeah, yeah. 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 Good a i bet it is good fun that's hannah oxbury i'm talking to as well there folks who will be your designer for the inspiration show this afternoon and oh my word talk about wow impact or you're gonna love it okay quick recap for you then ha huh, now then Gemma, have you got that ring handy hun mm-hmm Thank you. Now, using one of these charms, Gemma quickly took one of them and made a ring, and we worked out it would cost, what, 26p to make that? Mm. Yeah. Including the copper. Yeah. I can't pick up one of these charms. There we go. Now, you are going to be getting 20 different charms, and they are all plated with nine carat yellow gold. Somebody is texting, Gemma, how much would you sell this ring for? Oh, um, four, four, five, six pounds? Four, five, six pounds. Depending and it where. costs 26p to make. Mm. How lovely is that? How lovely is that? Very simple. And so that's using some raw copper and then the gold-plated copper findings. That is so lovely. So, so lovely. So for 20 different types of charms, 49.95 and we worked out from price comparisons that were coming in yesterday for the silver um, the silver one so obviously you'd expect more for the gold but for silver people were finding it approximately a pound um, a pound per charm that was the silver plated these are gold plated if we were to still work off that pound per charm 200 pounds bonkers offer boom right Gemma Crow I just pick up my bed <coughs> socks for my shoulder pads that have fallen out in the show. <laughs> what an amazing challenge you had today. Yeah, lovely And you chose challenge. it yourself. I did, I did. So, yeah. talk us through what you've been up to. Um, I've made quite simple but sort of rustic style jewellery and I think if I was to patina it, it would take it um, again a little bit further but you could leave it with the um, bare mm. copper just like that. It looks nice too. Wow. It's just very, very simple sort of knots and gizmo coils so that, that i mean that is striking would you patina can you patina with gemstones on it you can some gemstones you can't um you can't do pearls and porous gemstones like opal um, okay and i think um i think it's sammy has a great list on her designer page sammy wire bender fletcher 
okay. on her designer page, I think there's a list of gemstones that um, she's found that you can't do. Definitely rubies and emeralds you don't particularly. Yeah. But most things are fine, and just do a test, test one, and see. But sometimes you'll find it'll darken slightly, but it's, it won't damage the gem. So, Great. So it depends what you're, what gems you're using. Yeah. Amazing look. A real golden tone to it, and of course with the raw, with the raw copper, it looks incredible. So the lemon meringue collection was a collection um, of four strands in total, giving you uh, you had the magnesite, the faceted. Um, rounds, the little rondelles, and also the puffy uh, squares of the of the quartz. And that necklace is absolutely stunning. Quite quite a tribal feel yeah. to it as well, hasn't it? Could almost be quite masculine as well, couldn't yeah. it? Especially if it was dark and dying with a patina, you could even you know yeah. maybe put some leather cord on it. Yeah, brilliant, Gemma. Thank you so much. We've got Welcome. some text to finish off the show today. Uh, Danny Zuko from Greece. That was Lee and Kent's uh, uh, little uh, crush. Talk about crush of the 80s. Thanks, darling. Danny Zook, go away. My dog used to love Palmer Violets from Jenny. Thanks for that, Jenny. That's lovely to know. I love Palmer Violets. I can't. I'm not I a still Palmer Violet fan. You can still get them now. Yeah. Not a Palmer Violet fan myself. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Last one. Um, Billy Bixby played Dr. David Banner in The Incredible Hulk. What was I thinking? Really? What were you thinking, darling? But don't go anywhere else. Your thoughts should stay right here. Keep adding on to your order. Great afternoon with Vicky and Hannah ahead of you. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye.